handed over to his uh, to his to his son that is Omar Ansari and then from this very place the Banda Medical College his body will be taken back to his native place that is Ghazipur in UP yes back to you Right, stay with us, Akhil. We have some more breaking news coming in on the story itself. A three-member team will be conducting a magisterial investigation into the death of Mukhtar Ansari. That's a big breaking news coming in at the moment into the death of the gangster-turned-politician. A three-member magisterial uh, team will be conducting the magisterial probe into the late-night death of uh, Mukhtar Ansari. Right, uh, so the UP DSP has uh, said uh, that uh, Mukhtar Ansari passed away at uh, Banda Medical College after cardiac arrest, uh, after he complained of, you know, indigestion and constipation and pain in the abdomen. Now, a three-member team will be conducting a probe into the death of the gangster-turned-politician, even as his Post-mortem is about to be conducted uh, around 11 a.m. Now let's just listen in to the DSP Shailendra Singh. He's the former DSP. January ki hai, sal pehle ki hai. Aur Mukhtar Ansari ka jo bhaika samraj tha, charam pe tha. Aur sarkar dwara jab samarthan aise mafiyao ko ho jaye, to aap samaj sakte hain. मैंने अभी आपसे कहा कि वो खुली जीप में मऊ दंगों में घूमता था जहां कर्फ्यू लगा है किसी की हिम्मत नहीं हुई उसके प्रति कुछ कुछ बोल दे कार्रवाई के तो छोड़ दीजिए और उस समय मैंने लाइट मशीन गन रिकवर की आज तक उत्तर प्रदेश में केवल एक ही रिकवरी है ना उसके पहले कभी हुई ना 20 साल हो गया अब तक हुई है और उस पोटा भी लगाया क्योंकि पोटा एग्जिस्ट करता था तो मैंने स्टैंड लिया उसके प्रति कि नहीं ये गलत है और ये हो इसको जेल जाना होगा लेकिन मुलायम सिंह की सरकार तत्कालीन अल्पमत की सरकार थी किसी भी कीमत पे इसको बचाना चाहते थे और उन्होंने अंत में हम लोग पर प्रेशर बनाया अधिकारियों प्रेशर बनाया जब कोई नहीं सुना तो आईजी रेंज आईजी जोन जो थे उनका ट्रांसफर डीआईजी रेंज का ट्रांसफर एसएसपी एसटीएफ हमारे थे उनका ट्रांसफर और अंत में ऐसा माहौल बनाया गया कि मुझे भी रिजाइन करना पड़ा 15 दिन बाद ही Right, uh, so there you had the former DSP talking about uh, the terror reign of uh, the gangster-turned-politician who passed away last evening. Remember, viewers, uh, Mukhtar Ansari, who was, uh, first, uh, had, had his first case against him at the age of 17, but he was only convicted at uh, 61 years of age at, in 2022 in the arms case, Akil. You're there at the location, you are tracking the developments. Also take us through some of the long, you know, long years of terror uh, that uh, Mukhtar Ansari has been accused of. Well, he has been accused in dozen of cases. Uh, as per the, uh, the media reports, he has been accused in... The, there have been several cases that have been, that have been going on, on against him. And in the last two years, he has been convicted in eight different cases. And there are 15 matters in which trials are going on right now uh, against him. So the, uh, so the, some matters are still in sub -judice. But if you talk about the... Uh, on, on the local front over here in, in, his, in, his, uh, in his village, uh, in his native village, people say that uh, he has got to uh, do all kinds of personality and that dual personality included one of a messiah and other is of gangster so basically he has been uh, good for some people and uh, and, uh, and and other, and worse for the some some people so it's still is, is a ma some matters are still in the, in the in the judiciary so it is yet to be seen that uh, when he will be convicted in some cases then it will be more clearer so right now if you if you will see he has been convicted since september 2022 he's been convicted in eight different cases yes kriti Right, thanks, Akhil. Meanwhile, another big breaking news is coming in. A post mortem is scheduled and is set to be conducted anytime soon now by a team of five doctors. That's the news that we are learning in at the moment. The post mortem will also be videographed. And Sari's uh, post mortem that will be held around 11 a.m. will be videographed. It will be conducted by a team of five 
doctors and following the postmortem the body will be handed over to his son even as section 144 remains enforced across the state Well, Akil, you continue to be with us. Uh, do you have any information from the Council of Ansari? He was just speaking uh, to the media. Did he mention anything about how long the postmortem will take? No, right now he was mum. Uh, we tried to speak to him, but he didn't comment on it. But what we can uh, show you the visual, uh, just few moments back, our videography team has uh, entered in, inside this premises, and he and uh, and the team went basically inside towards the postmortem house. Here you can see. I would like to request my VJ to pan and show you the visual of where uh, Banda Police is there. And if you move forward to, uh, towards approximately 200 meter, and then you will have to take uh, a turn towards left, and there you will see a postmortem house over there. So there, the postmortem will be conducted uh, at around. 11 a.m. and what we know from our official sources that uh, once the postmortem will be completed then his body will be taken over from this very place from Bana hospital to his uh, native place so uh, it is yet to be seen that at what time his body will be taken out from this uh, uh, hospital but uh, what we know from our sources that uh, approximately around 1 p.m. his body will be taken from this very place so right now uh, a team of uh, d doctors will be conducting a panel has been set up uh, in this regard and that panel will be conducting the postmortem of uh, 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 Mukhtar Ansari. Yes. Right, uh, Akhil. Now, big another breaking news coming in. More developments keep uh, coming in in the story. Politics has escalated now over the death of the gangster SP and uh, AIMIM have been raising concerns over law and order in Uttar Pradesh following the death of the gangster turned politician. The Samajwadi Party and AIMIM raising doubts over the situation in UP, particularly in regard to the law and order. This even as security measures have been escalated in the state. Uh, listen in to Sumaya Rana. पिछले कई सालों से रमजानों में इस तरीके से जेल में रहने वाले जो चाहे शाहबुद्दीन भाई हो चाहे अतीत चकिया रहे हो चाहे मुक्तार भाई का इस बार होना ये लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की धज्जियां उड़ाना है और कहीं ना कहीं इसे संविधान की धज्जियां उड़ाना है जिस तरीके से भारतीय जनता पार्टी अपनी सत्ता के बल पर अपनी सत्ता का दुरुपयोग करते हुए अपने जेल में रहने संरक्षण में रहते हुए इस तरीके की मौतें हो रही हैं और उसको बीमारी की शक्ल देने की बात कर रही है चाहे वो पहले भी हो चुका है इस तरीके और आज इस तरह मुक्तार भाई के साथ हुआ ये यकीनी तौर पर एक बड़ी जांच होनी चाहिए ये एक बड़ा सवाल या निशान है Mukhtar Ansari has come to an end with his demises yesterday, but you know, politics continues to escalate. Now, the SP, AIMIM, BSP have been raising questions, citing claims being made by the family members. Take us through all the reactions that are coming in. Well, absolutely. If you see the political reactions will turn out because uh, he was not just, just a simple politician. He was a five-term MLA. So he contested twice on BSP. And since uh, 1996, he has been contesting elections. So he, he was a very uh, well-known political, uh, political person. And he comes from a very good family background. If you see his father, uh, his, uh, was a, a very good-known politician in, in the political, uh, political circle. But he, uh, he himself, uh, Mukhtar Ansari, took a different line altogether. And he entered into the into the gangster world at a very young age, at around uh, 17. And since then, he was part of this uh, 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 this, this uh, gangster club. What we know so far that he has uh, uh, many cases of extortion and kidnapping and um, other mafia gang he which he used to run. And he was in, involved in all such of uh, uh, all such kind of crimes. So if you see, apart from that, uh, his uh, great grand uh, grandfather he was he was a freedom fighter. And 
and he took part in the freedom struggle movement and if you see uh, his uncle uh, was uh, was a former pres vice president of india so he comes from a very noble uh, family but the kind of path he chooses for himself mukhtar ansari chooses for himself is completely di uh, different initially uh, during his uh, 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 during his uh, initial career around the 1980s he took the path of uh, crime and since then he was uh, uh, he, he was involved in many cases and then uh, to, uh, to to take a part uh, to take part a different part uh, uh, and shadow himself in, in the world of uh, pol uh, politics to to save himself he entered into the politics in 1996 and since then he w he, he has been chosen five terms as a, as an mla from mo constituency and two times from B bsp and when he was suspended from bsp then he has started his uh, uh, his uh, his own party so if you see he has tried uh, uh, tried every uh, every different uh, method to to uh, that suffices his career growth uh, in different direction apart from uh, the, the gangster world he he, to, he he took a very different stance uh, when he was a politician uh, yes back to you Right, Akhil. Now, you know, uh, BSP Supremo Mayawati has extended condolences to the family of the Don. And in fact, Akhilesh Yadav has gone on to attack the Yogi Adityanath government. And I'll tell you what he said. He said that the government that cannot protect life has no right to remain in power. Tell us more on that. Well, if you see the political blame game is on, Samajadi Party is uh, reacting, BSP will react if you see AIM, AIM has already reacted. So, uh, because uh, he, he was someone who was not seen as a, uh, uh, as, as a normal person, he was a very polarizing figure because he has been uh, convicted in several cases. He, he, uh, he was accused in some other cases which, has, uh, which include the incitation of mob it, itself. So, uh, there were several cases against him and what we have been told by his family members that a slow poison uh, has been given to him and his family has been claiming that so it is yet to be seen that what comes in the investigation because this investigation is on once the investigation process will complete then only it will be clear that what led to his uh, uh, to, to what led to his cardiac arrest uh, right now the medical bulletin which came from the Banda Medical College uh, it is clearly revealed that uh, he died due to the cardiac arrest and what has happened if you uh, talk about the timeline the entire sequence that around 6 45 pm when he opened his iftar because he was fasting at that time when he opened his iftar at, at around 6 40 uh, 40 to 45 pm and then after that he complained about uh, uh, vomiting and uh, stomach ache and then uh, a, a, a team of doctors in the jail first uh, uh, first take care of him then they realized that his condition is getting uh, worse and it's de uh, deteriorating then he was taken from Banda jail to to this very place at uh, Banda Medical College and then a team of 11 doctors uh, uh, checked him up uh, and uh, but but he felt unconscious and around around 8 25 p.m. he came over here the the medical doctors team came, uh, started uh, uh, to give him medicine because, because he reached at, at that time itself and since then uh, the, he was under the medical surveillance but uh, what we know so far that uh, uh, um, uh, around uh, uh, 9 p.m. he died and then a medical bulletin from the Bada administration and the hospital team has come forward uh, which revealed that he died due to the cardiac arrest. Yes, Kriti. Yes, Kriti. Right, thanks for joining us with those details. Uh, viewers, my colleague Akhil continues to be in Banda. He will be tracking all the developments uh, following the death of the gangster turned politician. Meanwhile, Mukhtar Ansari died while in custody due to a cardiac arrest while serving a life sentence at the Banda jail. Ansari had served five times as an MLA. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath held a meeting over the death of the former Don. Police presence has also been escalated in various districts of UP. Section 144 has been imposed in Moor Town. Here's a report now on all the developments that took place uh, last night following the death of the gangster. 60-year-old gangster Mukhtar Ansari dies while serving a life sentence.
the mafia gangster Mukhtar Ansari, whose age was 63 years old, died due to cardiac attack during treatment at Banda Medical College on Thursday night. And uh, Ansari was a five-time former MLA from Mau Sadar seat and has been behind bars in uh, UP and Punjab since 2005. The brief he, uh, information, he had 65 criminal cases pending against him. He has been sentenced in eight cases since September 2022 by different courts of UP and was lodged in the Banda jail. A senior police officer said that he was taken to the emergency department of Rani Durgavati Medical College, Banda by the jail personnel complaining of vomiting and in an unconscious state, the patient was provided immediate medical care by a team of nine doctors and now he is uh, no more uh, uh, I want to tell you again but despite best efforts the patient died due to the cardiac arrest the five-term former MLA jailed in Banda suffered a cardiac arrest Ansari was serving a life sentence and has been convicted in eight cases, with over 60 cases registered against him. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath chaired a meet over Ansari's death. Security has been increased at sensitive locations, with Section 144 imposed in Mau. A five-doctor panel will conduct an autopsy that will be recorded before the remains are handed over to the family. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Now moving on, let's take a look at some of the other news stories making headlines. Delhi's Rouse Avenue Court extended Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's custody by four days. The Delhi CM will be in ED custody till the 1st of April. Meanwhile, Arvind Kejriwal called allegations against him a political conspiracy and said that the public will give an answer to this. CM sir, LG is saying that the government will not go to jail. What would you like to say on this? LG is saying that the government will not go to jail. This is a political statement. The people will give Now, while Arvind Kejriwal was arguing his case in front of the court, he engaged in a fiery exchange of words with the Enforcement Directorate. ED alleged that Kejriwal is not cooperating and no chief minister is above law. The Delhi High Court dismissed a PIL seeking the removal of our pleader Arvind Kejriwal from the post of the chief minister. The court claimed that uh, there was no scope for judicial interference in the case. Kejriwal's wife Sunita alleged uh, that Arvind Kejriwal is being harassed and that his health is deteriorating in ED custody. BGP spokesperson Shehzad Poonawala took a dig at the Congress party as well as the Aam Aadmi party, saying that the character of all the Parivarwadi parties is to loot and lie. And when they get caught, these political parties play the victim card and attack institutions. BGP MP Manoj Tiwari called Arvind Kejriwal corrupt and that the Delhi CM is on the verge of mental bankruptcy. He further said that if Kejriwal wants to call the court uh, political, that, then it is the CM's mental bankruptcy. Congress MP Dipinder Hooda condemned Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. He said that the constitution and the constitutional rights are in danger. And there's a need to save the constitution and democracy. After TMC leader Mahwa Moitra skipped ED summons in the forex violation case, BGP leader Suvendu Adhikari said that everybody knows what happened with Arvind Kejriwal after he skipped multiple summons. 
and the same will happen with Mahua. He said that the law of the country is equal for everyone. Eknath Shinde's Shiv Sena released a list of eight candidates for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Shinde re-nominated most of the candidates who were elected in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections during the undivided Uddhav Thakre-led party. Well, time for a quick break now. Coming up next, India Alliance to protest today at the BJP headquarters. The opposition claims that the BJP is taking crores of rupees via electoral bonds by extorting through the ED. कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है Another controversy has hit the posh Ashoka University. A video of students raising caste slogans has gone viral where they can be heard demanding caste census on campus and shouting anti-Brahman and anti-Banya slogans. कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है दुनिया की सबसे पुरानी भाषा तमिल भाषा हिंदुस्तान की है मैं दुनिया को बताना चाहता हूं सबसे पुरानी भाषा का गर्व प्राप्त है वो मेरी तमिल भाषा है गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम व्यूअर्स कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी इज रेजिंग around the Supreme Court once again. So much controversy around the country's highest court all the time is not good. And most unfortunately, all this controversy happens every time on the eve of every election, especially the general elections. And the Supreme Court of India is willy-nilly dragged Three orders in Uttar Pradesh after gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari dies following a cardiac arrest. Three member team to conduct a magisterial investigation into the death of Mukhtar Ansari. Ansari's son Umar Ansari alleges Mukhtar was given slow poison. India Alliance to protest today at the BJP headquarters. The opposition claims that the BJP is taking crores of rupees via electoral bonds by extorting through the ED. Election Commission issues a show cause notices to BJP's Dilip Ghosh and Congress's Supriya Srinath over their comments on Mamata and Kangana Ranaut. Delhi's Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena orders probe into Congress leader Supriya Srinath's post on BJP's Monday candidate Kangana Ranaut.
गुड मॉर्निंग यू वॉचिंग रिपब्लिक टीवी आई एम कृति मेहता यू आर वॉचिंग लाइव एंड ब्रेकिंग मीन वाइल बिग ब्रेकिंग न्यूज कमिंग इन एंड टॉप ऑफ द बुलेटिन चीफ मिनिस्टर सिद्धारमैया सन यथींद्र हैज टेकन फॉर शॉर्ट एट यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह लेबलिंग हिम एज राउडी एंड कॉलिंग हिम अ गुंडा एट अ पब्लिक रैली इन चमराजनगर Karnataka Chief Minister Sun taking pot shots at Union Home Minister Amit Shah using foul language against him calling him a gunda referring to him as rowdy at a rally in Chamrajnagar listen in commission at 4 pm today the complaint is against yathindra sidaramaiah for derogatory remarks against union home minister amit shah he has called him a rowdy he has called him a gunda this was uh, in what he alleged in connection to the gujarat riots where he alleged that the home minister was accused of murder Meanwhile my colleague Prajwal uh, joins us on the story Prajwal the chief minister's son has made uh, derogatory remarks against the union home minister we know that the opposition has been continuing to attack the prime minister resorting to what we are calling abuse politics uh, politics what the prime minister alleges himself and now pot shots taken at, at the union home minister you know below the belt uh, statements uh, being uh, made by chief minister sidramaiah son uh, yatindra over here uh, and uh, this is absolutely atrocious is what uh, the bjp party in the state of karnataka is now going ahead and terming and they have gone out all out guns blazing uh, against uh, dr yatindra stating that there should be an immediate apology which will also have to be tendered at this uh, point of uh, time by this congress leader he is now gone ahead and made this particular statement at a public rally of the congress in uh, chamrajnagar district uh, while he was going ahead and uh, campaigning for the party as well and uh, this comes uh, days uh, after uh, yet another minister in sidramaiah's cabinet shivraj tangadige had stated that youths and students who go ahead and chant uh, pro modi slogans uh, should be slapped in the face and after the bjp party had approached uh, the state election commission and uh, also a compliance report was uh, filed by the scc and it was submitted to the cec uh, suomoto case was also registered now the bjp is stating that there should also be an fir which should be registered and the suomoto case should also be registered by the concerned corps in which limits uh, this particular state has been given out by dr yatindra sidramaiah meanwhile some of the bjp leaders uh, over here are going ahead and slamming uh, uh, you know yatindra sidramaiah stating that his only claim to fame in the state of karnataka has been that he's the cm and apart from which uh, he has uh, no sort of political mileage whereas uh, uh, home minister union home minister amit shah has uh, basically worked as a grassroots worker and he's come up uh, out of his uh, own will and strength too so all said and done now we are looking at an all out fight between the bjp and the congress and even the bjp's alliance partner is also going ahead and terming this absolutely condemnable we're also getting in information from our sources that the bjp party is likely to approach the top court of uh, the karnataka state uh, as uh, well and uh, they will go ahead and uh, make this move to and will uh, ask the honorable high court to take suitable action as well so all said and done it's an all out you know it's it's an all out uh, full full uh, all out uh, war which is broken out uh, between the bjp and uh, the congress over here as well and they are terming that all the 
statements that is being given against uh, the union home minister is absolutely condemnable because they think that only attacking prime minister narendra modi and attacking the union home minister amit shah will uh, make them win but these abuse politics will not work not only in the state of karnataka but also across the entire nation is uh, what the bjp leaders are opining as of now so we will need to wait in under which sections of the people's representative act of 1951 the cases will be filed uh, against uh, dr yatindra sidramaiya kriti Right, stay with us, Prajwal. We have another big breaking news coming in on this story. The BJP is likely to approach the Karnataka High Court over Siddaramaiah's son's derogatory remarks against the Home Minister. BJP likely to approach the Karnataka High Court over Yathindra's comments on the Union Home Minister. Meanwhile my colleague Prajwal uh, spoke to BJP MLA Ravi Kumar listen in to this conversation All right Prajwal you continue to remain with us you have spoken to the BJP MLA Ravi Kumar on these remarks made on Union Home Minister Amit Shah by the son of Siddaramaiah First let's listen in to what this conversation was and then we'll come back to you. Yatindra Sidramaiya kya kaha kya bole mai dekha TV pe. Wo dikhta hai Sidramaiya ka beta Yatindra Sidramaiya ka sanskruti ye asabhya sanskruti hai. Ye samskar ka baat nahi hai. इसलिए मैं उनका कहना चाहता हूँ ये अहंकार का बात है दुरहंकार का बात है इसलिए हम मुख्यमंत्री के बेटा यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया के खिलाफ हम इलेक्शन कमीशन को और पुलिस स्टेशन को जाकर कंप्लेंट करेंगे सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट आया है जब हमारे अमित शाह जी गुजरात में थे उसके संदर्भ में वो यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया ने क्या बोले उसके संबंध में सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट आया है इसलिए मैं विनती करता हूँ यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया जी को अगर आपको पढ़ने का संस्कृति है तो पढ़िए पढ़कर आप बात करिए नहीं तो ये कल्चर ठीक नहीं है सभी कर्नाटक के जनता सिद्धरामैया का बेटा ऐसा वर्स्ट कल्चर कैसे आया इसके बारे में सोच रहा है इसलिए ये सभी विषय के बारे में क्या बोले क्या आ, आ, कहा इसके बारे में इलेक्शन के संदर्भ में कर्नाटक का, का जनता लेसन टीच करेंगे Right, Prajwal continues to remain uh, live with us. Prajwal, you did speak to the BJP MLC Ravi Kumar. The BJP is likely to file, uh, has already filed an FIR and uh, is likely to approach the election commission now. Could you also manage to speak to any other BJP leaders? Uh, and if you did, what are the reactions that they are uh, giving you? You know, absolutely, Kriti. We have leader of opposition, Mr. R. Ashoka. Let's go across and speak to him. So we are seeing uh, that uh, Dr. Uh, Ashok ji. Uh, you know, I will try to get in the leader of opposition uh, for a quick word out here. We have also spoken uh, to the BJP leader, Mr. Uh, C. T. Ravi. But uh, before that, uh, I will also go ahead and uh, speak to him and ask what his reaction is. Uh, Ashok ji, uh, we are seeing uh, that uh, Dr. Yatindra Sidramaiya has uh, made uh, derogatory remarks uh, against uh, the Union Home Minister uh, Amit Shah. How are you looking at it? he is going ahead and calling the union yeah, home minister a rowdy and a gunda what do you have to state sir why why are they resorting to abuse politics now and again uh, i the, i condemn this uh, statement of uh, sidramaiya son because he is a sidramaiya son he is the, giving statement once he he give the statement to the central leader will be he will become the top leader of the party he think he, he thought uh, i think uh, congress uh, people have a Uh, uh, Staying uh, statements, just like a mental uh, patients. That is the statement by Sidramaiya son. Many other people also, uh, Tangadgi. Yes. Same thing. This is uh, happening because already Rahul Gandhi went to almost all jail. Yes. So same thing uh, they are doing in Congress DNA. This is the thing. I think that's why I condemn it. 
and uh, we will put the case against the uh, Yatindra. Okay, we will come back to you, Ashok ji. Uh, you know, so that was the leader of uh, opposition uh, for the state of Karnataka and uh, the BJP party's uh, topmost leader, Mr. R. Ashoka, speaking exclusively to Republic uh, here, uh, where uh, shortly from now we will also be expecting the BJP delegation uh, to go ahead to the state election commission and uh, will also go on to file a complaint uh, as uh, well with them uh, under the People's Representative Act of uh, 1951. So massive developments are uh, taking place out here, uh, Kriti, in the state of Karnataka regarding the abuse uh, politics uh, of, uh, you know, of uh, Mr. Yatindra Sidramaya now. So we will need to wait in and watch out uh, as to what will be the legal course uh, that uh, the BJP is mulling to because it is confirmed that they will be going to the state election commission. But if they are going to the high court, what will be the sort of action which the BJP will be demanding will be known in a short while from now. Well, thanks for joining us with those details, Prajwal. Uh, meanwhile, let's uh, show our viewers what the Karnataka Chief Minister Sun Yathindra said on the Home Minister. <laughs> Meanwhile, big breaking news coming in at the moment. The post-mortem of late uh, Mukhtar Ansari has begun. It is expected to last for an hour before Mukhtar Ansari's body is taken to Ghazipur. Ansari's body will uh, be accompanied by his son Umar Ansari in the ambulance. That's the big breaking news that we're coming up with at the moment. The post-mortem of uh, gangster turned Don Mukhtar Ansari who passed away last night has begun. The procedure will take place for an hour after which his body will be taken to Ghazipur and will be accompanied by son Umar Ansari. Remember viewers, Ansari has made uh, big claims that uh, he, uh, Mukhtar Ansari was given slow poison in his food while in the Banda jail. Meanwhile, my colleague Akil is live from Banda. He has been tracking all the developments. Uh, Akil, good morning. We are back to you. We are learning that the postmortem uh, has already begun. The Panchnama has been filed. The procedure will take uh, place for about an hour. What more do you know? Well, absolutely. The Panchnama process, the documentation process has completed a few moments back. And then after that, the postmortem has already begun. And what we have been told by some of the official as per our sources that uh, nine po uh, individuals are allowed inside that postmortem house. And if you see, uh, out of nine people, five uh, people are, five doctors are there. One magistrate is there inside that postmortem house. One police official is there. One photographer is there because uh, photography is also being done um, of that postmortem. And Apart from uh, these eight people, one person is also there, that is Umar Ansari. And Umar Ansari is the son of uh, Mukhtar Ansari. So here you see, if uh, nine people are inside that post-mortem house, and what we know so far, that uh, it will take another one hour to complete the post-mortem. And once the post-mortem will be completed, then the body of the deceased, uh, Mukhtar Ansari, will be taken from this very hospital where I'm standing right now. And this is... Uh, uh, Banda Hospital from this very place, his body will be taken to his native place that is Ghazipur and it will take uh, approximately six to seven hours uh, and by evening uh, he will be buried in his native place. Yes, Kriti. Right, Akil also take us through some of the security measures that have been uh, put in force. At Banda there we see security forces deployed and uh, measures have been upped across the state. We are learning. 
Well, at some places, in some districts, 144 have been applied. And apart from that, if you see the current situation over here, I'd like to request my Vijay to pan and show you the ground visual. Here you can see SSB team, Shashastra Simabal, one unit company. One company has been deployed over here, and that is a Battalion 42, which is deployed over, over here. And there, uh, there you see, uh, I would like to request my Vijay to pan and show you the visual two to 300 meters away from here. Uh, this, uh, there you see the Banda police is also deployed over here. So SSB team is also deployed, Banda police is also deployed, and the and and they are uh, under the uh, under vigilance uh, and there is no law and order situation right now everything is under control we have been speaking to some senior officials uh, in the bada police department and they are saying we are oh, we are ready and there is no such law and order situation and everything is under control yes kriti Right, thanks for joining us with those uh, details, Akhil. Meanwhile, uh, viewers, we are tracking all the developments into the death of the gangster-turned-politician Mukhtar Ansari. Uh, his post-mortem uh, has begun. The post-mortem will be conducted for about an hour, after which his body will be taken uh, to Ghazipur and the body will be accompanied by son Umar Khan. Um, Ansari. Umar Ansari has made uh, claims uh, that uh, Mukhtar Ansari was being given J uh, poison in his food while in jail. The same allegations had also been leveled by the gangster himself while he was in jail a few days ago. Now the family has continued uh, to raise the pitch of uh, Mukhtar Ansari allegedly being poisoned while in the jail at Banda. Meanwhile, uh, let's move on to some of the other top news stories. Gangster turned uh, politician Mukhtar Ansari has died while in custody due to a cardiac arrest while serving a life sentence at the Banda jail. Ansari had served five times as an MLA in the UP Assembly. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has held a meeting over the death of the former Don. Police presence uh, has been escalated in various districts and Section 144 has been imposed in Mau Town. Here's more on the developments. Sixty-year-old gangster Mukhtar Ansari dies while serving a life sentence. Mafia gangster Mukhtar Ansari, whose age was 63 years old, died due to cardiac attack during treatment at Banda Medical College on Thursday night. And uh, Ansari was a five-time former MLA from Mau Sadar seat and has been behind bars in a UP and Punjab since 2005. The brief he, uh, information, he had 65 criminal cases pending against him. He has been sentenced in eight cases since September 2020 by different courts of UP and was lodged in the Banda jail. A senior police officer said that he was taken to the emergency department of Rani Durgavati Medical College, Banda by the jail personnel complaining of vomiting and in an unconscious state, the patient was provided immediate medical care by a team of nine doctors and now he is no more. I want to tell you again, but despite best efforts, the patient died due to the cardiac arrest. The five-term former MLA jailed in Banda suffered a cardiac arrest. Ansari was serving a life sentence and has been convicted in eight cases, with over 60 cases registered against him. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath chaired a meet over Ansari's death. Security has been increased at sensitive locations, with Section 144 imposed in Mau. A five-doctor panel will conduct an autopsy that will be recorded before the remains are handed over to the family. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Let's move on to look at some of the other top news stories making headlines at the moment. 10 dead after a passenger vehicle plunged into a steep gorge on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway. Despite the prompt arrival of the police, SDRF and civilian rescue teams, immediate rescue efforts were hindered by adverse weather conditions, particularly heavy rainfall in the vicinity. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act has been extended for an additional six months in four districts of Assam. 
namely Tinsukhia, Dibrugarh, Charaidio and Sivasagar starting from April 1. Defence Secretary Giridhar Aramane inaugurated Indian Coast Guard's Hovercraft Maintenance Unit at Oka in Gujarat in the presence of Director General Rakesh Pal and other senior officials. The Hovercraft Maintenance Infrastructure will provide a fill-up to the operational readiness in forward areas in that region. A fire broke out in the parking area where many vehicles seized by the State Police Department during the lockdown were kept. No casualties were reported on the incident. Namapali MLA Majid Hussain stated that AIMIM corporators and locals aided the fire brigade in extinguishing the fire as soon as they received the information. 16 kg of cannabis was seized by the Railway Protection Force from a passenger on ja ja Janma Bhumi Express. 30 kg of cannabis was found from the bag and reported that it was being uh, transported from Vishakhapatnam to Delhi via Vijayawada. Well, moving on, veteran Bollywood actor Govinda is making his political comeback. The popular 90s actor joined Eknath Shinde's Shiv Sena and is likely to contest the upcoming Lok Sabha elections from Mumbai Northwest seat. This comes after he met Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde last week. More on it in this report. This election season is all about stars and big faces. After BJP fielded Bollywood actress Kangana Ranaut from Mandi, Eknath Shinde's Shiv Sena has robbed in veteran actor Govinda. The announcement comes after Govinda met Eknath Shinde at his bungalow Varsha in Mumbai. He spoke to Republic in an exclusive conversation. <laughs> आज 14 वर्ष बाद मैं इस पक्ष में आया हूं और इस कृपा का मैं धन्यवाद देता हूं पिछले 9-10 वर्ष में जो आदरणीय मोदी जी की राज्य में जो प्रोग्रेस हुई है जिस समय के लिए साथ में जोड़ा था वो मैं समय पूरा करके निकला उसके बाद 13 वर्ष मैं कभी उस तरफ देखा भी नहीं राइट और मेरी तरफ भी कहीं देखा नहीं है गया है कहीं किसी का मैं कह नहीं रहा हूं नाम नहीं लेता मैं कभी किसी का और बदनामी फालतू में कभी सब्जेक्ट में डिस्कस नहीं करता और मैंने सेवा प्र, मैं सेवा प्रदान कर सकता था कि अब ये देखा जाएगा ना सोर्सेस से दैट गोविंदा इज लाइकली टू बी पिटेड अगेंस्ट यूबीटीज अमोल कीर्तिकर द सन ऑफ सिटिंग एमपी फ्रॉम शिंदे कैंप गजानन कीर्तिकर However, this is not Govinda's first political outing. The actor tasted political success with Congress party after he defeated five-time BJP MP Ram Nayak by over 50,000 votes in 2004 Lok Sabha polls. Govinda's short political career with Congress was marred with criticism. He was criticized for his absence in parliament and for his inactivity in his constituency. Popularly known as hero number one, Govinda is marking his comeback after 14 long years. I am saying that I was in 2004 in politics. I was in 2004 and I was in Raj Sabha MP Milan called Govinda a man with clear heart. Almost 25 years. And uh, in 2004, we both fought the elections together. I fought South Mumbai, he fought North Mumbai. My late father had blessed us both had brought him into the Congress then. 
and uh, we had the opportunity to serve together in parliament in 2004 to 2009. So I've seen, and he's a neighbor of my in-laws, literally across each other. So I always see him when I go to my in-laws' home also. He's a man with a clean heart. He wants to do something good for Mumbai. He has, uh, he wants to represent uh, the creative industry, the artists. Mumbai is India's cultural capital. So he wants to represent this industry. Can Govinda's induction change the stars for the Shinde's Shiv Sena? Bureau Report, Republic TV. We're going to a quick break now. Coming up next, heavy police presence and prohibitory orders in UP after gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari dies following a cardiac arrest. एलायंस वाले लोग बार बार जानबूझकर हिंदू धर्म का अपमान करते हैं इनका हर बयान बहुत सोचा समझा हुआ होता है नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर द नेशंस शार्पेस्ट ओपिनियन the Rouse Avenue court has extended Arvind Kejriwal's custody till the 1st of April and Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party have got a support club in America now. I don't think it's disconnected from Rahul Gandhi's democracy in danger rant when he went to America last year. In fact, it seems very similar to me and quite odd that before a general election, Washington is supporting Kejriwal. The Biden government is supporting the Congress party. What both Kejriwal and Rahul Gandhi should know is that the Cambridge Analytica model of campaigns is over and that the Indian electorate decides the fate of a democratic exercise. But that side back home today, Kejriwal himself threw everything at it. So much so that he began to argue himself before the court. Unfortunately for him, the Delhi court further extended his custody. And if we go by the kind of argument being made by Arvind Kejriwal himself in court, what is most Heavy police presence and prohibitory orders in UP after gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari dies following a cardiac arrest. Three member team to conduct magisterial investigation into the death of Mukhtar Ansari. Mukhtar Ansari's son, Omar Ansari, alleges Mukhtar was given slow poison. <laughs> India lands to protest today at the BJP headquarters. The opposition claims that the BJP is taking crores of rupees via electoral bonds by extorting through the ED. EC issues show cause notices to BJP's Dilip Kosh and Congress's Supriya Srinath over for their sexist comments on Mamata and Kangana Ranaut. <laughs> Delhi's Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena orders probe into Congress leader Supriya Srinath's post on BJP, BJP's Mandi candidate Kangana Ranaut. Well, hello and welcome. You're watching Live and Breaking with me, Guinea Narula. Now, news just coming in that in a freewheeling chat with Microsoft founder, 
But beg your pardon, the news just coming in. Troubles are mounting for Congress ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. The IT department has issued a demand notice of rupees 1700 crores to Indian National Congress. The fresh demand notice is for the assessment years 2017 and 18 to 2020 to 21 and includes penalty and interest. Well, uh, viewers, this is the big breaking news that has just come in that uh, trouble is mounting for the Congress ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. The IT department has now issued a demand notice of rupees 1700 crores to the Indian National Congress. Our reporter Riyanka is joining us from uh, Delhi. A very good morning to you, Riyanka. Now, news has just come in that uh, the IT department has issued a demand notice of rupees 1700 crores to the Indian National Congress. Take us through the latest details. Absolutely. So breaking developments now coming in as we see the setback is once again uh, growing for the Congress party, especially right before the Lok Sabha polls. And in the latest, what we are getting to know uh, that the IT department has served a notice of rupees 1700 uh, hundred crore or, uh, on uh, the Congress party in terms of the reassessment uh, that is going to do on the Congress's uh, financial uh, uh, issues at this point in time. So the financial woes continue continues for the Congress party. Remember how last month the bank accounts of the Congress party were frozen and uh, what we know uh, that at this point in time uh, the uh, the lawyer for the Congress party had earlier argued uh, uh, to be specific uh, Vivek Tankha had uh, earlier argued that uh, this move by the IT department is undemocratic and it is unreasonable. So at this point in time how we see that uh, the setback is intensifying on the Congress party right ahead of the local about polls and also uh, the fresh demand is for the assessment year 2017 2018 to 2020 to 2021 so the assessment will be done by the IT department uh, the party is now awaiting the reassessment of its income for uh, three other uh, assessment years that needs to be completed by Sunday which is in fact the cutoff date so these are the details that we are gathering at this point in time the breaking developments uh, where the uh, IT department has in fact issued a demand notice to the Congress party of uh, rupees 1700 crore especially before the Lok Sabha polls or so uh, the trouble in fact mounting for the Congress in terms of its financial woes. Uh, right Riyanka, uh, you know I'll quote a uh, Congress lawyer who said that uh, we received the demand notice without assessment orders. The government appeared keener to serve us with the demand rather than issue us reasons for reassessment. So how has the Congress reacted to it? What uh, are they going to do about it next? Uh, well, at this point in time, as you rightly mentioned, Congress lawyer and Rajya Sabha MP Vivek Tankha, who in fact argued in uh, the case in the High Court, uh, see, who earlier sought to stay on the action of the uh, IT department, said that the party is looking forward to take legal action at this point in time. And also, he in fact went on to dub uh, the IT department's move as undemocratic and unreasonable. So at this point in time, if we can uh, uh, see that the Congress party is all set uh, to go take legal advices, legal action against uh, the uh, move by the IT department. But what we see, all of the matter uh, happening right ahead of the Lok Sabha elections uh, with the setback that the Congress party is now facing, we have to wait and see whether the Congress goes ahead and uh, looks or takes uh, legal advices, legal action against the IT department because at this point in time it is condemning the act. Uh, remember how the Congress's uh, bank accounts were frozen and it was really difficult to difficult for the grand old party to meet its day-to-day uh, -day demands in fact they were not even uh, uh, were able to pay salaries and uh, carry out uh, regular financial uh, uh, financial work as well so we will see how the Congress party goes and what it what is it planning uh, forward into this matter we will in fact come and report back to our viewers
Right, uh, Riyanka, thanks for getting us those updates. Of course, trouble mounting for uh, the Congress just before the Lok Sabha elections with their accounts being frozen and now the notice from the IT department. Moving on to other news now. News and wrap from across the country. Ten died after passenger vehicle has plunged into a steep gorge on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway. Despite the prompt arrival of the police, SDRF and civilian rescue teams, immediate rescue efforts were hindered by adverse weather conditions, particularly heavy rainfall in the vicinity. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act has been extended for an additional six months in four districts of Assam, namely Tinsukia, Dibrugar, Charadio and uh, Siva Sagar starting from April 1st, 2024. <laughs> Defence Secretary Giridhar Aramain inaugurated Indian Coast uh, Guard's hovercraft maintenance unit at Okla in Gujarat in the presence of Director General Rakesh. Pal and other senior officials, the hovercraft maintenance infrastructure will provide a flip to the operational uh, readiness in forward areas in that region. A fire broke out in the parking area where many vehicles seized by the state police department during the lockdown were kept. No casualties were reported on the incident. Dampali MLA Majid Hussain stated that AIMIM cooperators and locals aided the fire brigade in extinguishing the fire as soon as they received the information. Sixteen kg of cannabis was seized by the Railway Protection Force from a passenger on Janmabhumi Express. 30 uh, kg of cannabis was found from the bag and reported that it was being transported from Vishakhapatnam to Delhi via Vijayawara. Now in a fr freewheeling chat with Microsoft founder Bill Gates, Prime Minister Modi highlighted India's fight against COVID and uh, leading the vaccination drive in the country. The Prime Minister highlighted that the government's vision is to invest in cervical cancer in the near future. During the pandemic, um, you know, it was fantastic that the vaccines uh, got invented and India uh, made a lot of those. Uh, sadly, in many countries, the fear of vaccination and even uh, rumors about vaccines became a big problem. And you had actually very little of that here in India. So I'm curious, how did you manage the communication and why do you think uh, it came out better here? बहुत ही बढ़िया सवाल आपने पूछा है एक तो मैंने वायरस के खिलाफ ये लड़ाई जो है ये हम सब की है ये लोगों को प्रशिक्षित करने पर बल दिया ये वायरस वर्सेस गवर्नमेंट नहीं है ये लाइफ वर्सेस वायरस की लड़ाई है ये पहली मेरी फिलॉसफी थी दूसरा मैं डे वन से कम्युनिकेट करने लगा सबसे डायरेक्ट मेरे देश के लोगों से बात खुद मैं खुद सारे प्रोटोकॉल पब्लिकली फॉलो करने लगा सब चीजें पब्लिकली मैं उदाहरण के रूप में जाने लगा लोगों के सामने फिर मैंने कहा भाई ताली बजाओ थाली बजाओ दिया जलाओ हमारे देश में इसकी बड़ी मजाक करने के प्रयास हुआ लेकिन मुझे लोगों को विश्वास में लेना था कि भाई हमें ये लड़ाई साथ लड़नी है जब ये विश्वास बन गया कि हम हमें अपनी जिंदगी बचानी है और औरों की जिंदगी बच्चे इसमें मदद करनी है तो एक प्रकार से मास मूवमेंट बन गया और उसके कारण मुझे बाद में जो भी चीज कहता था देशवासियों को वो मुझे मदद करते फिर मुझे क्वेश्चन नहीं करते थे कि मास्क लगाना चाहिए कि नहीं लगाना चाहिए उनको लगता था और लोग भी एक दूसरे को कहते थे मास्क लगाओ तो ये जन आंदोलन बन गया एंड डेमोक्रेटिक वे में डंडे से काम नहीं होता है आप लोगों को एजुकेट कीजिए उनको कन्विंस कीजिए और उनको साथ लेकर के चलिए 
ये ये मेरा बहुत बड़ा अभियान रहा और उसके कारण मुझे वैक्सीन में बहुत बहुत बड़ी सभा किसी ने मुझे रोका नहीं आर्थिक रूप से मुझे बहुत बड़ा बोझ आया क्योंकि मुझे वैक्सीन बनाने में रिसर्च करनी थी फिर विश्वास दिलाना था कि यही वैक्सीन चलेगी कि मैं खुद सबसे पहले वैक्सीन लेने लग गया और मेरी वो नाइन्टी फाइव एज की मेरी माँ थी उस समय मेरी माँ ने भी पब्लिकली वैक्सीन लिया तो मैंने उधार करके दिखाया तो लोगों को भरोसा पड़ा कि भाई ये ये जिंदगी बचा सकती है आने वाले दिनों में मैं सर्वाइकल कैंसर को लेकर के खास करके बच्चियों के लेकर मैं भारत में इस बार बजट में हमारी जो साइंटिस्ट हैं उनको बजट देना चाहता हूं और मैं उनको कहना चाहता हूं इसमें भी आप लोकल रिसर्च कीजिए वैक्सीन बनाइए और बहुत ही कम पैसों में मैं मेरे देश की सभी बच्चियों का वैक्सीनेशन करूं और किसी भी बच्ची को कैंसर की संभावना ही न रहे वो स्थिति पैदा करूँ उस दिशा में इन दिनों में काम कर रहा हूँ जब मेरी नई सरकार बनेगी तो मैं सबसे पहले उस दिशा में काफी पैसे रिसर्च में लगाना चाहता हूँ ताकि मेरी बच्चियों की जिंदगी बचे Now there's politics over Mukhtar Ansari's death. The uh, opposition has raised concerns over law and order in Uttar Pradesh following Mukhtar Ansari's death. We have a couple of reactions coming in. Let's listen in. Abhi jaanch ka mamla banta hi hai. Yeh nahi ki sanyog bas hua ya achanak hua. जब उन्हें पहले शंका थे कि ऐसा हो सकता है दूसरी बात है कि जो एक सौ एक सौ धारा पूरे उत्तर प्रदेश में लगाया है एक रिएक्शन पैदा करने के लिए कि हिंदू मुसलमान हो जाए ऐसा कौन सा प्रोटेस्ट हो रहा है पूरे इलेक्शन को प्रभावित करने के लिए और तीसरी बात है कि वीडियो अंडर वीडियोग्राफी इसका पोस्टमार्टम होना चाहिए और सच्चाई पता लगना चाहिए सच्चाई पता लगना चाहिए निश्चित रूप से जो उनकी हार्ट अटैक से डेथ हुई है ये जांच का विषय है उसके गहन रूप से जांच जरूर होनी चाहिए कि जिन परिस्थितियों में उनकी मृत्यु हुई है वो संदेहास्पद लगती हमारे नेता थे इस तरह का भी कोई उसके उसमें था नहीं सिम्टम कुछ था नहीं पहले से कि कोई इस तरह की बीमारी हो को कोई इस तरह का वो हो और अचानक जिन परिस्थितियों में मृत्यु हुई है उन परिस्थितियों में संदेह होना स्वाभाविक है और उसकी जांच की मांग जो कर रहे हैं जायज़ है जाँच होनी चाहिए ताकि सच्चाई सामने आ सके जो पहले से संदेह किया जा रहा था जो प्रश्न पैदा हो रहे थे संबंधित अधिकारी विभाग या सरकार के द्वारा उसको गंभीरता से क्यों नहीं लिया गया ये सब जांच का विषय है निश्चित रूप से जांच होनी चाहिए ताकि इस तथ्य सामने आ सके पिछले कई सालों से रमजानों में इस तरीके से जेल में रहने वाले जो चाहे शहाबुद्दीन भाई हो चाहे अतीक चकिया रहे हो चाहे मुख्तार भाई का इस बार होना ये लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की धज्जियाँ उड़ाना है और कहीं ना कहीं इससे संविधान की धज्जियाँ उड़ाना है जिस तरीके से भारतीय जनता पार्टी अपनी सत्ता के बल पर अपनी सत्ता का दुरुपयोग करते हुए अपने जेल में रहने संरक्षण में रहते हुए इस तरीके की मौतें हो रही हैं और उसको बीमारी की शक्ल देने की बात कर रही है चाहे वो पहले भी हो चुका है इस तरीके और आज इस तरह मुख्तार भाई के साथ हुआ यकीनी तौर पर एक बड़ी जांच होनी चाहिए ये एक बड़ा सवाल या निशान है Time to slip in a very short break. Coming up on the other side, Delhi's Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena orders probe into Congress leader Supriya Shinde's post on BJP's Mandi candidate Kangana Ranaut. Congress ko jab se. कर्नाटका में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटका को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है अस्पर्जन्स ऑन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट 
one of the most revered institutions. They have not simply got rid of Article 370. They have dismembered the state of Jammu and Kashmir by mischievously misinterpreting both Article 3 of the Constitution and Article 370 of the Constitution. हम इस जजमेंट से सेटिस्फाइड नहीं हैं। मेरा मानना ये है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट सुप्रीम जरूर है, मगर इनफैलेबल नहीं है। हम अपने एक लीगल हक के लिए लड़ रहे थे। हमको किसी से खैरात की जरूरत नहीं है पांच एकड़ जमीन की। 600 eminent lawyers have now written to the Chief Justice over the issue. हमारे जैसे वकील हम Welcome back, viewers. Now in news from Jammu and Kashmir's Ramban area, at least 10 people have lost their lives after a taxi rolled down a gorge on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway. Gur Simran gets you more on this. 10 people have lost their life in an unfortunate incident that took place on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway when a passenger vehicle that was travelling from Jammu towards the Kashmir Valley met an accident and rolled down into a 300 meter deep gorge in the area near the Battery Chashma of the Ramban district. The incident was reported at around 1.15 early today morning after which the teams from the Ramban police station along with the quick reaction team, the UTDRF and the civil Respondents reached the spot and the rescue operations were launched. Ten bodies have been found in the gorge and now the attempts are being made to bring out these bodies from the deep gorge. However, continuous rain and tough terrain is making it really challenging. SSP Ramban Anuj Kumar has confirmed that ten people have lost their life and the attempts are on to bring back the bodies of the deceased. Two have been identified including one from Jammu and other from Bihar. With Sir Jeevan Kumar, Gursimran Singh for Republic Media Network. Now in news and wrap from across the globe, the investigators are bought off the collapsed ship for the investigation. Independent federal agency tries to determine the cause of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. French President Emmanuel Macron and Brazilian President signed more than 20 agreements relating to the area of science, technology and innovation. The aim of the agreements, according to Brazil's government, is to strengthen scientific cooperation in the area of biodiversity. U.S. General says that the Biden administration has not given Israel all of the weapons it has requested. U.S. officials have been under pressure to use the ongoing delivery of weapons as leverage to get Israel to increase humanitarian, humanitarian support in Gaza. Jordanians gathered to continue their protest for the fifth day. Hundreds of protesters gathered in Jordan's capital to put an end to Israel's war in Gaza. Even though they have uh, protested uh, uh, the, a march this time, they appeared more spontaneous and they have gathered in huge crowds. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu conducted a security cabinet meeting in Jerusalem to discuss on further actions from their side. Netanyahu downplayed U.S. fears of a humanitarian catastrophe if Israel launches an invasion into Gaza. A bus carrying worshippers headed to an Easter festival plunged off a bridge, killing at least 45 people. Authorities stated that the only survivor of the crash was an 8-year-old child who was receiving medical attention. Ladies and gentlemen, 600 eminent jurists have written to the Chief Justice of India expressing their deepest concern over what they call vested interest groups trying to put pressure on the judiciary. The Prime Minister also weighed in and hit out of the vested interest groups. But the question remains, is there an attempt to selectively undermine the judiciary? Aspersions on the Supreme Court, one of the most revered institutions. They have not simply got rid of Article 370. 
we have dismembered the state of Jammu and Kashmir by mischievously misinterpreting both Article 3 of the Constitution and Article 370 of the Constitution. हम इस जजमेंट से सेटिस्फाइड नहीं है मेरा मानना यह है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट सुप्रीम जरूर है मगर इनफैलेबल नहीं है हम अपने एक लीगल हक के लिए लड़ रहे थे हमको किसी से खैरात की जरूरत नहीं है पांच एकड़ जमीन की 600 eminent lawyers have now written to the chief justice over the issue हमारे जैसे वकील हम डिफर कर सकते हैं व्यूज के जुडिशरी के जो जजमेंट को हम कह सकते हैं कि ये ठीक नहीं किया परंतु हम उनके कार्य करने के और उनको ये सर्टिफिकेट देने के एंटाइटल नहीं है कि अच्छा कर रहे हैं या गंदा कर रहे हैं रिलीफ दे दिया तो बहुत अच्छा है नहीं मिला तो गलत है हमारी जुडिशरी कानून के अंतर्गत काम करती है not just the government some even in the opposition backed the move it's very alarming and very disturbing to read this story because uh, the entire i mean india is a free country our forefathers have fought the british to get freedom into this country and if in the most important out of the four pillars our judiciary is one of the most critical pillars of our freedom movement and if that a lot of lawyers feel is compromised it's extraordinarily alarming and worrisome is there an attempt to selectively undermine the judiciary Pentagon press secretary Major General Pat Ryder said that the Biden administration has not given Israel all the weapons that they requested for. He further stated that through programs like foreign military finance, foreign military sales, again it's part of long-standing efforts to ensure Israel's qualitative military edge. Let's listen in. Very long-standing security relationship with Israel. Uh, and certainly after October 7th, uh, we uh, worked very hard to, to rush security assistance to Israel in support of their efforts to defend themselves uh, against attacks from Hamas and future terrorist attacks. Um, and, and when it comes to the provision of, uh, of security assistance to include uh, weapons and weapon systems, uh, obviously I, I don't want to get ahead of those conversations. Those are always ongoing conversations. Um, but through programs like foreign military finance, foreign military sales, uh, again, it, it's uh, part of our efforts, uh, long-standing efforts to ensure Israel's qualitative military edge. I am pleased to announce today that the Joint Task Force Red Hill in Hawaii has completed its defueling mission at the Red Hill Bulk Fuel Storage Facility, and that Secretary Austin has approved the transfer of command and control of the Red Hill facility to the United States Navy. Now, now, viewers getting you all the election wrap. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to kick off the Lok Sabha poll campaign in Uttar Pradesh's Meerut city on March 30th. Prime Minister Modi will hold a mega rally and will be accompanied by Meerut candidate Arun Govil. Ahead of Lok Sabha elections, Assam BJP MLA Himanga Thakuria said the people of Assam trust uh, the leadership of Hemant Biswa Sarma. He took a jibe at opposition saying Congress and AIUDF will be nowhere in the elections this time. Another setback to BRS party, party MLA Kadiam Srihari and BRS Warangal Lok Sabha candidate Kadiam Kavya is likely to join the Congress. Union Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya during his poll campaign in Shivpur area of Madhya Pradesh said that he worked for network of progress and development for the people. He added that he solved the problems and that no other leader was willing to do. <laughs> मैंने सड़कों की जान बनाई है मैंने सब की 
जाल बनाई है मैंने शिक्षा एक साधन की जाल बनाई है मैंने प्रगति और विकास की जाल मेरे परिवार जनों के लिए मैंने बनाई है उत्तर प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ विल अटेंड कॉन्फ्रेंस टुडे एट उत्तर प्रदेश बिजनौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट द विजिट इज मेनली फॉर द कैंपेन्स अहेड ऑफ लोकसभा पोल्स Time to slip in a very short break. Coming up on the other side, Delhi's Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena orders probe into Congress leader Supriya Srinath's post on BJP's multi candidate Kangana Ranaut. Hindu dharm mein shakti shabd hota hai. Hum shakti se lad rahe hain. एक शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं इंडी अलायंस ने अपना घोषणा पत्र शक्ति को खत्म करने के लिए किया है मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन शक्ति स्वरूप माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा and now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion the rouse avenue court has extended arvind kejriwal's custody till the 1st of april and arvind kejriwal and the aam aadmi party have got a support club in america now i don't think it's disconnected from rahul gandhi's democracy in danger rant when he went to america last year in fact it seems very similar to me and quite odd that before a general election washington is supporting kejriwal The Biden government is supporting the Congress party. What both Kejriwal and Rahul Gandhi should know is that the Cambridge Analytica model of campaigns is over and that the Indian electorate decides the fate of a democratic exercise. But that side back home today, Kejriwal himself threw everything at it. So much so that he began to argue himself before the court. Unfortunately for him, the Delhi court further extended his custody. and if we go by the kind of argument being made by arvind kejriwal himself in court what is most unfortunate is that the in jail delhi chief minister is still wound up in the same stale vendetta argument to convolute his explanations further kejriwal is now trying to allege that there's some sort of matrix between electoral bonds and the ed which have come together through the bjp to fix him no joke ladies and gentlemen this is the explanation being given by the delhi chief minister himself in court for liquor gate But what Kejriwal is still not being able to digest in my view is that the courts will go solely by the evidence not by the profile of the accused the intent or the profits his political opponents may reap or any theory outside the evidence Kejriwal's custody will be extended so long as the courts are convinced that the ED's evidence is substantial enough and as of tonight there is no observation by the honorable court in Kejriwal's arrest case that seems to suggest that the ED's evidence is under question so इंडी एलायंस वाले लोग बार बार जानबूझकर हिंदू धर्म का अपमान करते हैं। इनका हर बयान बहुत सोचा समझा हुआ होता है देशभक्त हैं वे बिल्कुल ऐसे ही हमारे स्वतंत्रता सेनानी अंग्रेजों की तानाशाही से लड़ते थे पिछले तीस साल से मैं उनके साथ हूं देशभक्ति उनके रोम रोम में बसी है अरविंद जी ने देश की सबसे ताकतवर भ्रष्टाचारी और तानाशाही ताकतों को ललकारा है आपने अरविंद जी को अपना भाई अपना बेटा कहा है क्या इस लड़ाई में आप अपने भाई अपने बेटे का साथ नहीं देंगे मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि हम सब साथ मिलकर यह लड़ाई लड़ेंगे 
मैं आपको एक व्हाट्सएप नंबर दे रही हूँ व्हाट्सएप नंबर है एट टू नाइन सेवन थ्री टू फोर सिक्स टू फोर फिर से एट टू नाइन सेवन थ्री टू फोर सिक्स टू फोर आज से हम एक अभियान शुरू कर रहे हैं जिसका नाम है केजरीवाल को आशीर्वाद इस व्हाट्सएप नंबर पर आप अपने अरविंद को आशीर्वाद भेज सकते हैं शुभकामनाएं भेज सकते हैं दुआएं भेज सकते हैं प्रार्थना भेज सकते हैं कोई और भी संदेश देना चाहे तो वो भी दे सकते हैं कई माताओं ने तो अपने बेटे के लिए मन्नत मांगी है कई बहनों ने भी अपने भाई के लिए मन्नत मांगी है वो भी लिख के भेजें मुझे कई लोगों के फ़ोन भी आए उन्होंने अरविंद जी के लिए व्रत रखा है कितना प्यार करते हैं अरविंद जी से लोग वो सब लिख कर भेजिए कुछ और भी अगर कहना है कुछ भी मन में आए इस व्हाट्सएप नंबर पे लिख कर भेज दीजिए हर परिवार का हर सदस्य लिख के भेजे आपके मैसेज पढ़ के उन्हें बहुत अच्छा लगेगा आपका एक एक मैसेज उन तक पहुंचेगा मैं आप सबके मैसेज उनको जेल में देकर आऊँगी और उन्हें मैसेज देने के लिए आपको आम आदमी पार्टी का होने की ज़रूरत नहीं है आप किसी भी पार्टी से हो कोई भी हो अरविंद जी को मैसेज ज़रूर भेजें सभी युवा महिलाएं, बुजुर्ग बच्चे अमीर गरीब सब लोग अपने भाई अपने बेटे अरविंद जी को कुछ ना कुछ ज़रूर लिखें और हाँ इस व्हाट्सएप नंबर का भी खूब प्रचार करें एक बार फिर से बता रही हूँ व्हाट्सएप नंबर है एट टू नाइन सेवन थ्री टू फोर सिक्स टू फोर एट टू नाइन सेवन थ्री टू फोर सिक्स टू फोर जय हिंद Right, that was Sunita Kejriwal, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, addressing uh, the people and sharing a WhatsApp number wherein she has requested the people to send messages to Arvind Kejriwal, which she will personally show him when she goes to visit him. <coughs> Now, earlier also she had addressed. Uh, the media wherein she had said that his arrest is of course illegal and that is arvind kejriwal whose uh, ed remand has been extended <coughs> arvind kejriwal's custody extended by 4 days in the delhi liquor policy case and his wife sunita kejriwal was requesting the people even if they did not belong to the aam aadmi party requesting all the commoners to send messages on that particular number which he shared let's remind you viewers that mr kejriwal had also moved the delhi high court against his arrest arguing that the manner in which the probe agency acted violated his fundamental rights <laughs> and there's huge breaking news in the bengaluru cafe blast case news coming in from karnataka that uh, in the bengaluru cafe blast probe by the nia muzammil sharif pasha the terrorist who provided logistical support to the bomber musafir muzafir shazib hussain has been sent to 7 day custody by nia officials he was produced before the special nia court yesterday now the nia special court gave custody of pasha to nia till april 3rd big news there a big arrest that the nia has made in the bengaluru cafe blast case the national investigation agency has arrested muzammil sharif a key 
conspirator behind the bomb blast at the Rameshwaram Cafe in Bengaluru on March 1st. My colleague Prajwal is joining us from Bengaluru. Prajwal, a huge breakthrough there. NIA has got custody of one of the persons who was, of course, uh, providing logistical support. Now, have we? do we know anything that if he has shared any information on the other two accused who are on the run as of now? You know, the main motive uh, for the arrest and uh, the grounds was uh, basically because uh, Pasha knew a lot, uh, that is, uh, Muzam, uh, you know, that is, uh, uh, Sharif knew a lot about uh, both Abdul Mateen Taha as uh, well as Muzawir Shazib Hussein as well. And that was one of the reasons that uh, Muzamil Pasha was uh, taken into custody. And uh, secondly, there was also incriminating digital evidence uh, along with uh, cash also found at his uh, residence as well. And he's learned to be picked up from Bengaluru on the outskirts of the city too. And uh, later, he also agreed to the cops uh, stating uh, that uh, he was the one who had gone ahead and provided all the logistical support as well as uh, the explosives too for the bombing to be taken place. So he's uh, literally gone ahead, procured uh, the explosives uh, and he's also assembled that into a bomb and he's handed it over uh, to Muzawir Shazib Hussein as well. And uh, after which uh, Abdul Mateen Taha has uh, planned and plotted everything and then he's also asked for some sort of uh, uh, logistical uh, support as uh, well uh, from uh, Sharif and then Muzamil Sharif has planned the entry and exit routes. He's also gone ahead and uh, done all the communication for them uh, through many of the communi uh, communication uh, platforms uh, such as uh, Wicker, Wire and Twitter as well is uh, what we get to Telegram. I beg your pardon. It's Telegram as well where he's gone ahead and communicated to and also he's uh, used uh, the dark web for exchange of money and later he's converted that into local currency and uh, he's uh, given them support too. Apart from which uh, the cops have also mentioned uh, that uh, uh, he is uh, needed for the custody as well to go ahead and uh, ask him about the plan as well and what was plotted before because it is now being understood that all the three of them stayed together before the blast had taken place. So this is something which is absolutely important, meaning to state that all these three people were holed up in a single place together before the blast had taken place. Whether he was in triplicate area of Chennai uh, while they were going ahead and doing all of this or... Right, Prajwal, stay with us uh, while we take our viewers to another piece of breaking information coming in. Muzammil Sharif Pasha provided logistical support to the bomber Musafir Shazib Hussain on the instructions of Abdul Mateen Taha, suspected to be the mastermind behind the blast. Now arrested, Muzammil Sharif had extensively used dark web for fund transfer and messaging apps for communication. NIA sleuths tracked Sharif Pasha after intercepting local calls. Now, going back uh, to you, Prajwal, as you were just taking us uh, through the details, do we know the whereabouts of uh, Muzaffir Shazib Hussain and uh, 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 Taha, who have the other accused in the blast? And uh, did we get any other information about the material of the explosives as to where he procured them from? You know, first and foremost, uh, now uh, last seen, uh, Muzaffir Shazib Hussain was last seen in Nellore in Andhra Pradesh as well. And uh, that is something uh, which uh, has to be put in uh, notice uh, for the viewers as well. And uh, also it is an internal uh, circuit, internal relay circuit, apart from which we're also speaking about 12 volt batteries and uh, timers as well, uh, which has been used for this particular blast. From where has this been brought or procured is still not being known because remember that 45 days before the blast, they have stayed in the Chennai triplicanes area near the market and as well as Marina Beach too. So that is still something which is being known. So the last trace location, the last known location of uh, Muzawir Shazir, uh, you know, Muzawir is uh, somewhere in uh, Nellor area of Andhra Pradesh. As far as Abdul Mateen Taha is concerned, uh, it is uh, still a mystery around him as well because he's largely been absconding since the Sadhugunte Palya police case uh, since uh, 2019 as well. So this is something uh, which uh, we need to understand. Remember that both Abdul Mateen Taha and Muzawir Shazib Hussain are still 
still absconding. They have not been arrested. Both of them are still absconding. And it is only Sharif who has been taken into custody by the NIA. And now the NIA special court has gone ahead and granted seven days custody. In terms of the logistical support, he is the one who has procured the materials. He has assembled all these materials and for, made it into a bomb. He has handed, uh, handed this to Muzaffar. And Muzaffar has now then gone ahead and placed it inside this particular private cafe in the Bengaluru city as well. So all of this being taken into consideration, now he will be grilled. He will also be asked as to how he went ahead and procured the materials, whether it was from the dark web or whether it was from online. The National Investigation Agency will have to go ahead and look into it and in detail, after conducting his interrogation, they will be able to ascertain as to what uh, is the sort of medium that was used to go ahead and procure all these materials to assemble this improvised explosive device, Kriti. Right. Appreciate your joining us at Prajwal and getting us those details. Of course, uh, the NIA is going to inter interrogate uh, him and figure out more details while we move across to other news now. In news and wrap from across the country, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to kick off the Lok Sabha poll campaign in Uttar Pradesh's mayor city on March 30th. Prime Minister Modi will hold a mega rally and will be accompanied by Merit candidate Arun Govil. <laughs> Ahead of Lok Sabha elections, Assam BJP MLA Himanga Thakuria said that people of Assam trust the leadership of Himanta Biswa Sarma. He took a jibe at the opposition saying that Congress and AIUDF will be nowhere in the elections this time. In another setback to BRS party, party MLA Kadiam Srihari and BRS Warangal Lok Sabha candidate Kadiam Kavya is likely to join the Congress. Union Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya during his poll campaign in Shivpur area of Madhya Pradesh said that he worked for Network of Progress and Development for the people. He added that he solved the problems and that no other leader was willing to do. मकड़ी क्या करता है मकड़ी जाल बनाता है मैंने सड़कों की जाल ना बनाई है मैंने सब स्टेशनों की जाल बनाई है मैंने सिंचाई के साधन की जाल बनाई है मैंने प्रगति और विकास की जाल मेरे परिवार जनों के लिए मैंने बनाई है Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath will attend a conference today at Uttar Pradesh's Bijnor district. The visit is mainly for the campaigns ahead of Lok Sabha polls. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Bill Gates discuss digital revolution in India as well as strides in health, agriculture and education sectors. The Prime Minister also highlighted the G20 vision and how India brought G20 goals to mainstream. A snippet of that conversation. Well, the G20 is way more inclusive and so it was fantastic to see that uh, India in hosting it really raised things like digital innovation uh, and how this South-South collaboration can be far more than just the dialogue with the North. It can actually be a system that improves health. And, you know, our foundation is so excited about the positive results that you've achieved here in India uh, that we'll be a partner in trying to take that uh, into many other countries. आपकी बात सही है जब मैं इंडोनेशिया में भी जी ट्वेंटी में गया था तो दुनिया के सभी देशों की क्यूरियोसिटी ये थी कि आपने ये डिजिटल रिवॉल्यूशन कैसे लाया है और तब मैं उनको समझाता था एक तो मैंने इस टेक्नोलॉजी को डेमोक्रेटाइज कर दिया है ये किसी की मोनोपोली नहीं रहेगी ये जनता का होगा जनता के द्वारा होगा और जनता में जो भी उभरती हुई टैलेंट इसमें वैल्यूएशन करेगी वो करती चलेगी ताकि कॉमन मैन को भी टेक्नोलॉजी पर विश्वास पैदा होना चाहिए जैसे दस डॉक्टर होते हैं सब एमबीबीएस होते हैं लेकिन एक डॉक्टर के पास ज्यादा लोग जाते हैं क्योंकि उसका भरोसा बन गया है 
digital government, uh, India is not only adapting technology, but it's actually leading the way. Uh, what are some of the things you're excited about? Health, agriculture, and education. I have made a mandir for the Aarogya Mandir. Aishman Aarogya Mandir, village is my. This is my health center. I have directly मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी से बेस्ट हॉस्पिटल के साथ उनको जोड़ देता हूँ। पहले शुरू में उनको लगता था कि डॉक्टर तो है नहीं मेरी मुझे देखे बिना कैसे बताता है? लेकिन बाद में उनको समझ आया कि टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट और सैकड़ों किलोमीटर दूर बैठा हुआ डॉक्टर भी उनको सही डायग्नोसिस and the other thing is education. I want to reach the best education for the children. The teacher's lack, I want to fill it with technology. The other thing is the child's interest is visual, storytelling. So, I want to make content in that way. I am working in that way. So, I want to feel the child's interest. And I have done a survey. I have seen that the child's interest is great. मेरे हाँ एग्रीकल्चर में भी मैं बहुत बड़ा रिवॉल्यूशन डाल रहा हूँ और मैं माइंडसेट बदलना चाहता हूँ Now Chief Minister Siddharth and Dr Yatendra takes aim at Union Home Minister Amit Shah labeling him rowdy and gunda at public rally in Chimar Rajnagar. Right. Karnataka Chief Minister's son has attacked Home Minister Amit Shah. He has said that Amit Shah is a gunda and he is rowdy. Let's listen into a couple of uh, reactions coming in. <laughs> Right. Now, BJP has come out hard on Yatendra Siddharamaya, son of Karnataka, Chief Minister Siddharamaya. Let's listen in to what uh, Prajwal had spoken to them a while back. Yatendra Siddharamaya, kya kaha, kya bole, mai dekha TV pe. O, dikta hai Siddharamaya ka beta Yatendra Siddharamaya ka samskuti, ye asabhya samskuti hai. ए, ए, संस्कार का बात नहीं है इसलिए मैं उनका कहना चाहता हूँ ये अहंकार का बात है दुरहंकार का बात है इसलिए हम मुख्यमंत्री के बेटा यतीन्द्र सिद्धरामैया के खिलाफ हम इलेक्शन कमीशन को और पुलिस स्टेशन को जाकर कंप्लेंट करेंगे सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट आया है जब हमारे अमित शाह जी गुजरात में थे उसके संदर्भ में वो यतीन्द्र सिद्धरामैया ने क्या बोले उसके संबंध में सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट आया है इसलिए मैं विनती करता हूँ यतीन्द्र सिद्धरामैया जी को अगर आपको पढ़ने का संस्कृति है तो पढ़िए पढ़कर आप बात करिए नहीं तो ये कल्चर ठीक नहीं है सभी कर्नाटक के जनता सिद्धरामैया का बेटा ऐसा वर्स्ट कल्चर कैसे आया इसके बारे में सोच रहा है इसलिए ये सभी विषय के बारे में क्या बोले क्या आ, आ, कहा इसके बारे में इलेक्शन के संदर्भ में कर्नाटक का, का जनता लेसन टीच करेंगे अमित शाह जी के बारे में दर दिखाता है उसका स्टेटमेंट के वजह से बाप के नाम पर 
राजनीति में नहीं है अमित शाह जी अमित शाह जी 1982 में बूथ अध्यक्ष रहे बूथ अध्यक्ष के नाते काम करते करते यहाँ तक पहुँच गया है यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया जी का पब्लिक आइडेंटिटी क्या है उनका पब्लिक आइडेंटिटी केवल उनका बाप का नाम का बल पर है सिद्धरामैया जी का नाम के बिना उनका पब्लिक आइडेंटिटी क्या है केवल सिद्धरामैया जी का पावर और पैसा के वजह से उन्हें सार्वजनिक रूप में जिंदा है यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया अपना होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह जी ऐसा नहीं है ग्रास रूट लेवल पर संघर्ष करते करते यहाँ तक पहुँच गया है एक आइडेंटिटी उनका आइडेंटिटी है आइडियालॉजी के वजह से उनका आइडेंटिटी है एक कार्यकर्ता के वजह से एक नेता के वजह से यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया केवल सिद्धरामैया जी का बेटा है कार्यकर्ता भी नहीं है नेता भी नहीं है देखो ये रउडी संस्कृति बीजेपी में नहीं है ये कांग्रेस की मामला है ये कांग्रेस वाला कभी भी दूसरों के ऊपर ऐसे ही बताता है मगर वही करता है अभी देखो उनका उनका यूथ प्रेसिडेंट कौन थे कौन थे उनका उन प्रेसिडेंट नहीं श्रीनिवास क्या गुंडा नहीं है नलपाड़ कौन है गुंडा नहीं है जेल में जेल में रख के आया ना वो गुंडा को अब अध्यक्ष बनाया न्यूज इन न्यूज इन रैप फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द कंट्री Ten died after passenger vehicle has plunged into a steep gorge on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway. Despite uh, the prompt arrival of the police, SDRF, and civilian rescue teams, immediate rescue efforts were hindered by adverse weather conditions, particularly heavy rainfall in the vicinity. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act has been extended for an additional six months in four districts of Assam, namely Tinsukia, Debrugar, Charaidio, and Siv Sagar, starting from 1st April 2024. Defence Secretary Giridhar Aramain inaugurated Indian Coast Guard's Hovercraft Maintenance Unit at Oka in Gujarat in the presence of Director General Rakesh Pal and other senior officials. The hovercraft maintenance infrastructure will provide a fillip to the operational readiness in areas in that region. A fire broke out in the parking area where many vehicles seized by the state police department during the lockdown were kept. No casualties were reported on the incident. Nampali MLA Majid Hussain stated that AIMIM cooperators and locals aided the fire brigade in extinguishing the fire as soon as they received the information <laughs> 16 kg of cannabis was seized by the railway protection force from a passenger on Janmabhoomi express 30 kg of cannabis was found from the bag and reported that it was being transported from Visakhapatnam to Delhi via Vijayawada Now news from Jammu and Kashmir's Ramban area at least 10 people have lost their lives after a taxi rolled down a gorge in Jammu Srinagar National Highway Gur Simran gets you more on this 10 people have lost their life in an unfortunate incident that took place on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway when a passenger vehicle that was traveling from Jammu towards the Kashmir Valley met an accident and rolled down into a 300 meter deep gorge in the area near the Battery Chashma of the Ramban district the incident was reported at around 1:15 early today morning after which the teams from the Ramban police station along with the quick reaction team the UTDRF and the civil Respondents reached the spot and the rescue operations were launched. Ten bodies have been found in the gorge, and now the attempts are being made to bring out these bodies from the deep gorge. However, continuous rain and tough terrain is making it really challenging. SSP Ramban Anuj Kumar has confirmed that ten people have lost their life, and the attempts are on to bring back the bodies of the deceased. Two have been identified, including one from Jammu and other from Bihar. With Sir Jeevan Kumar, Gur Simran Singh for Republic Media Network.
Now, news in wrap from across the globe. The investigators are aboard of the collapsed ship for the investigation. Independent federal agency tries to determine the cause of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. French President Emmanuel Macron and Brazilian President signed more than 20 agreements relating to the area of science, technology and innovation. The aim of the agreements, according to Brazil's government, is to strengthen scientific cooperation in the area of biodiversity. U.S. General says that Biden administration has not given Israel all of the weapons it has requested. U.S. officials have been under pressure to use the ongoing delivery of weapons as leverage to get Israel to increase humanitarian support in Gaza. Jordanians gather to continue their protests for the fifth day. Hundreds of protesters gathered in Jordan's capital to put an end to Israel's war in Gaza, even though they have uh, uh, carried out a protest march this time. They appeared more spontaneous and they have gathered in larger crowds. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu conducted a security cabinet meeting in Jerusalem to discuss on further actions from their side. Netanyahu downplayed U.S. fears of a humanitarian catastrophe if Israel launches an invasion into Gaza. Abbas carrying worshippers headed to an Easter festival plunged off a bridge killing at least 45 people. Authorities stated that the only survivor of the crash was an eight-year-old child who was receiving medical attention. Time to head into a very short break. Coming up on the outside, income tax department issues demand notice of rupees 1700 crores to Congress for assessment years 2017 18 to 2020 21. Includes penalty and interest as per sources. शब्द होता है हम शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं एक शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं इंडिया लाइन्स ने अपना घोषणा पत्र शक्ति को खत्म करने के लिए किया है मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन सबसे स्वरूप माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा शब्द होता है हम शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं एक शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं इंडिया लाइन्स ने अपना घोषणा पत्र शक्ति को खत्म करने के लिए किया है मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन शक्ति स्वरूप माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा Good evening and welcome viewers. Controversy is raging around the Supreme Court once again. So much controversy around the country's highest court all the time is not good. And most unfortunately all this controversy happens every time on the eve of every election, especially the general elections. And the Supreme Court of India is willy-nilly
गगन कुछ बेटा गगन आ जा आ जा So those visuals come again, and you just heard a Kamal announcer speak there, where we see that uh, actor turned politician and BJP's candidate from Himachal Pradesh, Kamal Anand, is holding a road show uh, in Mandi. Uh, those visuals coming in on the screen. Uh, remember that uh, she has taken to the streets now of uh, of Mandi, and uh, she is holding a road show there, connecting with the people. Uh, she has just got a, 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 a ticket from Mandi, a BJP uh, ticket from Mandi. She is a BJP candidate uh, from. Monday viewers, uh, top update coming out of Public TV viewers as Kangana Ranaut is holding her roadshow just ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, she is uh, uh, holding a roadshow. You can see many people have come out in large numbers at Kangana Ranaut's roadshow. A uh, big update coming out of Public TV viewers, and uh, this is coming in as Kangana Ranaut is the candidate from Monday constituency in Himachal Pradesh for the Lok Sabha elections. speak there in mondi she's holding a massive road show but uh to the other news, we're tracking in a freewheeling chat with Microsoft founder Bill Gates. PM Modi highlighted India's fight against COVID and leading the vaccination drive in the country. The Prime Minister highlighted that the government's vision is to invest in cervical cancer in the near future. During the pandemic, um, you know, it was fantastic that the vaccines uh, got invented and India uh, made a lot of those. Uh, sadly, in many countries, the fear of vaccination and even uh, rumors about vaccines became a big problem. And you had actually very little of that here in India. So I'm curious, how did you manage the communication and why do you think uh, it came out better here? 
बहुत ही बढ़िया सवाल आपने पूछा है एक तो मैंने वायरस के खिलाफ ये लड़ाई जो है ये हम सबकी है ये लोगों को प्रशिक्षित करने पर बल दिया ये वायरस वर्सेस गवर्नमेंट नहीं है ये लाइफ वर्सेस वायरस की लड़ाई है ये पहली मेरी फिलोसफी थी दूसरा मैं डे वन से कम्युनिकेट करने लगा सबसे डायरेक्ट मेरे देश के लोगों से बात खुद मैं खुद सारे प्रोटोकॉल पब्लिकली फॉलो करने लगा सब चीजें पब्लिकली मैं उदाहरण के रूप में जाने लगा लोगों के सामने फिर मैंने कहा भाई ताली बजाओ थाली बजाओ दिया जलाओ हमारे देश में इसकी बड़ी मजाक करने के प्रयास हुआ लेकिन मुझे लोगों को विश्वास में लेना था कि भाई हमें ये लड़ाई साथ लड़नी है जब ये विश्वास बन गया कि हम हमें अपनी जिंदगी बचानी है और औरों की जिंदगी बच्चे इसमें मदद करनी है तो एक प्रकार से मास मूवमेंट बन गया और उसके कारण मुझे बाद में जो भी चीज कहता था देशवासियों को वो मुझे मदद करते फिर मुझे क्वेश्चन नहीं करते थे कि मास्क लगाना चाहिए कि नहीं लगाना चाहिए उनको लगता था और लोग भी एक दूसरे को कहते थे मास्क लगाओ तो ये जन आंदोलन बन गया एंड डेमोक्रेटिक वे में डंडे से काम नहीं होता है आप लोगों को एजुकेट कीजिए उनको कन्विंस कीजिए और उनको साथ लेकर के चलिए ये ये मेरा बहुत बड़ा अभियान रहा और उसके कारण मुझे वैक्सीन में बहुत बहुत बड़ी सब किसी ने मुझे रोका नहीं आर्थिक रूप से मुझे बहुत बड़ा बोझ आया क्योंकि मुझे वैक्सीन बनाने में रिसर्च करनी थी फिर विश्वास दिलाना था कि यही वैक्सीन चलेगी कि मैं खुद सबसे पहले वैक्सीन लेने लगा ले और मेरी वो नाइन्टी फाइव एज की मेरी माँ थी उस समय मेरी माँ ने भी पब्लिकली वैक्सीन लिया तो मैंने उदाहरण करके दिखाया तो लोगों को भरोसा पड़ा कि भाई ये ये जिंदगी बचा सकती है आने वाले दिनों में मैं सर्वाइकल कैंसर को लेकर के खास करके बच्चियों के लेकर मैं भारत में इस बार बजट में हमारी जो साइंटिस्ट हैं उनको बजट देना चाहता हूँ और मैं उनको कहना चाहता हूँ इसमें भी आप लोकल रिसर्च कीजिए वैक्सीन बनाइए और बहुत ही कम पैसों में मैं मेरे देश की सभी बच्चियों का वैक्सीनेशन करूँ और किसी भी बच्ची को कैंसर की संभावना ही न रहे वो स्थिति पैदा करूँ उस दिशा में इन दिनों में काम कर रहा हूँ जब मेरी नई सरकार बनेगी तो मैं सबसे पहले उस दिशा में काफ़ी पैसे रिसर्च में लगाना चाहता हूँ ताकि मेरी बच्चियों की जिंदगी बचे All right, guys. Some big breaking updates coming in right now, viewers uh, from Bihar. We are coming to know India Block seals uh, seat sharing talks in Bihar. Uh, that's a big update coming in, viewers, where we know that uh, that there was supposed to be a seat sharing formula to be announced ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. And uh, what we know so far that the Mahagat Bandhan, the Grand Alliance, has come out with a seat sharing deal in Bihar. Now. We're talking about the RJD, the Congress, and the left parties. We'll be soon joined by my colleague to understand what this uh, seat-sharing formula is looking like in Bihar. But uh, this announcement was expected today itself, where the RJD, Congress, and left parties uh, were supposed to be coming out with a seat-sharing formula, which works for uh, for everybody. Now, what we see right now is RJD will be fielding candidates on 26 Lok Sabha seats. Congress has got nine seats. Left gets five seats in Bihar. And the Congress will not be getting the Purnia seat in Bihar. So, a top update coming on Public TV viewers. And as we keep getting you more updates, this was a, a seat-sharing formula which uh, uh, we were quite aware of. In fact, uh, it was expected that Congress would be fielding uh, around nine candidates for, uh, in those nine seats. Let's go straight to my colleague who's joining us right now, Prakash, our editor, Special Projects. Uh, Prakash, I'm coming to you. What do you really make out of the seat sharing formula? Uh, the seat sharing formula is out for our viewers. So we're talking about uh, 26 seats for RJD, nine for Congress, and five seats for the left. Well, yes, uh, the RJD has managed to uh, get 26 seats, and the Congress, as it contested last time on nine seats, they managed to get nine seats, but not the seat uh, of uh, Purnia for Papu Yadav. 
as it was promised to him because Papu Yadav has decided to contest from Purnia and uh, uh, the Congress had assured him the ticket from Purnia. But Lalu Yadav, in a way, you know, order to corner Papu Yadav in the Simanchal belt because he doesn't want any interference uh, uh, the, at the cost of the politics uh, and the politic, uh, po uh, political rise of the Jasvi Yadav. So he's blocked uh, Papu Yadav in the Simanchal belt, specifically denying Purnia, Madhepura and uh, uh, Supal uh, Lok Sabha seat. Interestingly, uh, we'll keep a close watch on what Papu Yadav uh, will do now because yesterday in my interview with him, he had said that uh, Congress party is no more a Katputli and the Congress party has to decide whether I should contest or not. Now, the Congress party has got nine seats, but not those seats in the Simanchal belt. And Lalu Yadav has bargained hard. CPIML has managed to get three seats, uh, specifically in the area of Bhojpur. CPIML co uh, candidate would be contesting against Union Power Minister R.K. Singh in Karakat against Upendra Kushwaha. And uh, uh, RJD's uh, important seats include Patli Putra from where Bisa Bharti would be contesting, Saran from where Rohini Acharya would be contesting and there are several other seats from where um, in from Ujjarpur Alok Mehta the former minister would be contesting and the CPI, uh, CPI has got the Begu Sarai seat last time Kanaya Kumar was pitted against uh, Giriraj Singh where he lost badly now Kanaya has joined the Congress party so no seat for Kanaya as well because the CP Congress party wanted Begu Sarai for Kanaya but Lalu has denied so Lalu Yadav blocking both Kanaya and Papu Yadav this is the politics behind it so that uh, nobody comes in the rise of the Jasvi Yadav and uh, one seat for CPM as well so uh, these are the important seats. Congress may be fielding Tari Kanwar from Katihar. He's an important leader. And Kishan Ganj was held by Congress party. They have got retained the seat, the, the only seat that uh, Mahagad Bandhan won last time out of the 40 seats. Now, uh, interestingly, the campaign is uh, gaining ground now with BJP also releasing the Modi theme song named Modi Sang Bihar. So it will get a new impetus because uh, after Holi it is ex was expected that the com campaign will be stepped up from all parties. Back to you. Right. And... Uh Prakash, we know that uh, many seats in the Mahagad Bandhan were uh, basically a tug of war between uh, the allies. There were a couple of seats, at least five seats, where uh, uh, there was a lot of discord between the Congress and its allies in Bihar for the Lok Sabha elections. Now that the seats uh, formula is out, uh, are the, all the parties happy or they had to compromise a little bit? Well, it's a case of uh, cat and mice game in politics uh, uh, and in every party so far in the Congress there are different camps and each camp is trying to block one or the another like Papu Yadav was blocked by Akhilesh Yadav camp. Uh, Akhilesh Singh's camp because he is the Congress president and that is how as a part of the game plan he was denied uh, for Purnia, Supal or Madhepura seat and he sided with uh, uh, Lalu Yadav as a part of the longer game plan. So the, uh, every party has had its own plus and minus but yes so far they seem to be happy with Congress getting nine seats as it contested nine seats last time in 2019. Uh, RJD contesting on 26 seats and the seat sharing formula has been finalized for all the 40 seats and uh, Lalu Yadav is a master tactician when it comes to uh, politics and based on this will be the first election in Bihar remember after the caste based survey and uh, earlier there were no data uh, it was only data based on a speculation but now you have the entire data based on the caste configuration so that uh, uh, rep representation of various caste group will be done by all the parties in the adjoining and the uh, nearby area so that it can have an impact and also based on the development agenda as well back to Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Prakash, for getting so, uh, all the details coming in. Uh, seat sharing, sharing formula in the Mahagat Bandhan has been seen, and Prakash getting his top updates. Let's go across uh, to what is happening right now as we speak. There is a press conference of the Congress. Let's cut across to that. Our 1993-94 ke notices are coming. Sitaram Kesri ji ke zamane ke. Or jab notices pichli baar aaye the, demand kal hamare paas mein aaya hai 53 crores ka. 
सीताराम केसरी जी के जमाने के 53 करोड़ का डिमांड कांग्रेस का 1993 94 का कांग्रेस को आया और टोटल पिछले इसी तरीके से उन लोगों ने पांच सालों का दिया है तीन सालों का और वो बना रहे हैं टोटल 1823 करोड़ की डिमांड कांग्रेस पार्टी से करेगी है 1823 करोड़ का डिमांड इनकम टैक्स ने कांग्रेस पार्टी से किया है तो आप ये सोचिए कि एक तरफ बीजेपी की जो वायलेशन हैं उसको आंख बंद कर रहे हैं और हमारे हिसाब से वो अगर वायलेशन वही बात बीजेपी पे लगाया जाए तो 4600 थाउजेंड का बनता है और कांग्रेस को गलत तरीके से फंसा करके कांग्रेस को गलत तरीके से सीताराम केसरी जी के जमाने के एक चीज टाइम बार होती है और ये 1993-94 की डिमांड 53.9 करोड़ मिला करके 1823 करोड़ का इन्होंने जो लगाया है ये कहा की लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड है और कहा का ये डेमोक्रेसी हमारे देश के अंदर हमारे बच गई हमारे यहां पर जो डिमांड रेज करी गई है वो इस बेसिस पे करी गई है कि पांच साल पहले कुछ डायरीज जो है चलानी डायरीज के नाम से रिकवर हुई थी उन डायरीज के अंदर कुछ एंट्रीज हैं जिसके बेसिस के ऊपर कांग्रेस पार्टी के साथ के ऊपर ये सारी डिमांड रेस करी गई अब हम सिंपली ये पूछना चाहते हैं एक बड़ी सिंपल सी चीज पूछना चाहते हैं कि चलानी डायरी के बेसिस के ऊपर इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट जाग जाता है लेकिन जैन डायरी में जिसमें अडवाणी जी और उस वक्त अडवाणी जी बीजेपी के नंबर वन नेता हुआ करते थे उसके बेसिस पे बीजेपी के ऊपर क्यों नहीं टैक्स मांगा जाता है इनकम टैक्स येडुरप्पा ये डायरी के बेसिस के ऊपर डीके शिवकुमार की डायरी के बेसिस के ऊपर टैक्स मांगा जा सकता है कांग्रेस से लेकिन येडुरप्पा डायरी के डायरी के ऊपर जो बीजेपी के लीडर्स को जो पैसे दिए गए हैं उसके ऊपर इनकम टैक्स आंख बंद कर लेता है बंगारू लक्ष्मण कन्विक्टेड हुए पैसे लेते हुए बीजेपी के अध्यक्ष देखे गए उसके ऊपर कभी भी इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट नहीं जागती है जब वो पीछे के केसेस खोल रही है तो बंगारू लक्ष्मण के टाइम के ऊपर क्यों नहीं खोले गए येडुरप्पा डायरी के ऊपर क्यों नहीं खोले गए क्यों केवल और केवल कांग्रेस पार्टी के समय के ऊपर उनको ये डायरी ध्यान में आ रही है सहारा बिरला डायरी उनको ध्यान नहीं आ रही जिसमें मोदी जी के खुद का नाम है तो सहारा बिरला डायरी जिसमें मोदी जी का खुद का नाम उसको नजरअंदाज जैन डायरी जिसमें अडवाणी जी का खुद का नाम उसका न, उसको नजरअंदाज येडुरप्पा डायरी जिसके अंदर तमाम बीजेपी के नेताओं को पैसे दिए हुए उसको 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 नजरअंदाज तो केवल और केवल कांग्रेस पार्टी को तंग करने के लिए कांग्रेस पार्टी के ऊपर इस बात को उठाने के लिए क्यों यह किया जा रहा तीसरा जो सबसे मुख्य प्रश्न इस बात पे हम लोग उठाना चाहते हैं टाइमिंग पे ये 2019 के अंदर ये डायरी निकली आज जाकर के इलेक्शन के टाइम पे इलेक्शन नोटिफाई हो गया आज जाकर के इन लोगों को डिमांड रेज करना याद आ रहा है पहली बार अब जाकर के कल शाम को इन्होंने डिमांड रेस किया जब इलेक्शन नोटिफाई हो गया है क्यों क्या इससे पहले पांच साल कभी भी ये लोग डिमांड रेस नहीं कर सकते थे अब क्यों डिमांड रेस कर रहे हैं तो ये सारी की सारी बातें बड़ी स्पष्ट ये बताती हैं कि कैसे इनकम टैक्स आंख बंद करके एक तरफा बीजेपी की कमियां उनको नजर नहीं आ रही उनके चार की पेनल्टी उनकी नजर नहीं आ रही जो एकदम साफ स्पष्ट नजर आता है उनके 42 करोड़ के वायलेशन नजर नहीं आ रही हमारी 14 लाख की वायलेशन के ऊपर 135 करोड़ रुपया हमारे से ले लिया हमारे 23 लोगों ने हमारे जो है एमपीज और एम ने जमा कराए कैश जमा कराए उसके ऊपर हमारे 135 करोड़ रुपए लगा दिए उनके 1290 से भी ज्यादा लोगों ने उनके पता नहीं उनका नाम नहीं उसके ऊपर उनको उनको कोई कहीं पर भी नजर नहीं आता तो इसलिए हम लोग आपसे ये कहना चाहते हैं आज ये समय आ गया है अगर आप लोग इसको जनता को सही तरीके से नहीं दिखाएंगे और प्रिंसिपल ऑपोजिशन पार्टी को पुराने पुराने केसेस सीताराम केसरी जी के जमाने के केसेस निकाल करके तंग किया जाएगा ताकि हम हमारे बैंक अकाउंट्स हमारे दोबारा से फ्रीज करे जा सके ताकि फिर से हम सब लोगों को तंग करा जा सके तो कैसे हमारे देश के अंदर लोकतंत्र जिंदा रहेगा ये आप लोगों के सामने की बात है हम मांग करते हैं इनकम टैक्स से कि चार करोड़ रुपए बीजेपी से इसी वक्त उनको नोटिस दिया जाना चाहिए मैंने आपको पूरे फैक्ट्स फिगर्स और पूरे उसकी लोकेशंस कहां पे हैं उसकी मैंने जानकारी आप लोगों को दी है और मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट इसी तेजी से कार्रवाई करेगा जैसे तेजी से कार्रवाई उन्होंने कांग्रेस के खिलाफ करी
फ्रेंड्स प्राइमरीली वी आर टेकिंग अप टू इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यूज टूडे द फर्स्ट वन बींग द इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट बींग सॉफ्ट टूवर्ड्स द बीजेपी बीजेपी हैज वायलेटेड द इनकम टैक्स एंड रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पीपल्स एक्ट Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements Congress ko jab se Karnataka mein mauka mila hai to inhone कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है अनदर कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी हैज हिट द पॉश अशोका यूनिवर्सिटी अ वीडियो ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स रेजिंग कास्ट स्लोगन हैज गॉन वायरल वेयर they can be heard demanding caste census on campus and shouting anti brahman and anti banya slogans former infosys chief financial officer mohandas pai has questioned caste hatred in the university seeking intervention of the union education minister Following the uproar on social media, the Ashoka University has issued a statement deploring hatred against any individual or group. It assured measures Mr Modi presented Bill Gates with the vocal for local gift hamper in exchange for the nutrition books gifted by Microsoft CEO both were engaged in a long conversation discussing artificial intelligence digital infrastructure covid-19 g20 summit and others in the tax department issues a Demand notice of rupees seven thousand seven hundred crores to Congress at the fresh demand in notice, including penalty and interest, is for assessment years twenty seventeen to eighteen to twenty twenty to twenty twenty one. BJP to lodge complaint to State Election Commission against CM Sudaramaiah Sun. BJP will file complaint against Yatendra Sudaramaiah over his derogatory remarks against Union Home Minister Amit Shah. The BSF intelligence unit conducted a thorough search in Amritsar and seized a packet of heroin weighing over 1 kg. The unidentified men trying to smuggle the narcotics managed to flee the spot. Three people were killed as the roof of a bar collapsed in Chennai. This happened on Thursday night. The incident reportedly occurred due to underground metro construction. Western Command of Indian Army conducted an exercise to validate integrated anti-aircraft weapon system. The exercise by there by the military drills there were aiming to destroy aerial targets including swarm drones in preparation for future wars. And viewers, let's move ahead right now to some unfortunate news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir's Rambarn area. At least ten people have lost their lives after a taxi rolled down a gorge on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway. Gur Simran, my colleague, gets us this report for more. 
Ten people have lost their life in an unfortunate incident that took place on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway when a passenger vehicle that was traveling from Jammu towards the Kashmir Valley met an accident and rolled down into a 300 meter deep gorge in the area near the Battery Chashma of the Ramban district. The incident was reported at around 1.15 early today morning after which the teams from the Ramban police station along with the quick reaction team, the UTDRF and the civil respondents reached the spot and the rescue operations were launched. Ten bodies have been found in the gorge and now the attempts are being made to bring out these bodies from the deep gorge. However, continuous rain and tough terrain is making it really challenging. SSP Ramban Anuj Kumar has confirmed that 10 people have lost their life and the attempts are on to bring back the bodies of the deceased. Two have been identified including one from Jammu and other from Bihar. With Sarjeevan Kumar, Gursimran Singh for Republic Media Network. The investigators are aboard of the collapsed ship for the investigation. Independent federal agencies try to determine the cause of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Fresh President Emmanuel Macron and Brazilian President signed more than 20 agreements relating to the area of science, technology and innovation. The aim of the agreements, according to Brazil's government, is to strengthen scientific cooperation in the area of biodiversity. U.S. General says that the Biden administration has not given Israel all of the weapons it has requested. U.S. officials have been under pressure to use the ongoing delivery of weapons as leverage to get Israel to increase the humanitarian support in Gaza. Jordanians uh, have gathered to continue their protests for the fifth day. Hundreds of protesters gathered in Jordan's capital to put an end to Israel's war in Gaza. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has conducted a security cabinet meeting in Jerusalem to discuss on the further actions from their side. Netanyahu downplayed U.S. fears of a humanitarian catastrophe if Israel launches an invasion into the Gaza. Viewers, much for coming up. Income tax department issues demand notice of 1,700 crores to Congress for assessment years. 2017 to 18 to 2020 to 21, including penalty and interest as per sources. Stay tuned. Hindu dharm mein shakti shabd hota hai. Hum shakti se lad rahe hain. Ek shakti se lad rahe hain. इंडिया अलायंस ने अपना घोषणा पत्र शक्ति को खत्म करने के लिए किया है मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन शक्ति स्वरूप माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents Yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements. भाषा तमिल भाषा हिंदुस्तान की है मैं दुनिया को बताना चाहता हूं सबसे पुरानी भाषा का गर्व प्राप्त है वो मेरी तमिल भाषा है गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम व्यूअर्स कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी इज रेजिंग अराउंड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वंस अगेन so much controversy around the country's highest court all the time is not good
Hello and a very good afternoon to all our viewers. Thank you for tuning into Republic TV. I'm Deepak Suresh Kumar. Let's get started with the headlines. Magisterial investigation ordered into Mukhtar Ansari's death. Family alleges slow poison given to gangster in the jail. Congress slapped with 1,700 crore IT notice. Party calls it harassment by the IT department. PM uh, holds talks with News coming in, it seems like Prakash Ambedkar is mulling to float a third front in Maharashtra for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Now this after negotiations with the MVA turned inconclusive. Remember, Prakash Ambedkar had demanded for uh, 27 seats, but the MVA had offered only three seats in response. And uh, in fact, Prakash Ambedkar had set a deadline of March 27th and he had said, that if there is no conclusion till March 27th, he would file his nomination on uh, the 28th. But it seems like uh, another 24-hour uh, grace period was also given for the MVA partners. But it seems like nothing has turned out to be fruitful for Prakash Ambedkar. Let's talk about what happened in 2019 because uh, BBA and AIMIM had uh, partnered with each other and they split about eight to nine seats. Uh, they split the votes of the Congress and the NCP on eight to nine seats. But this time around, uh, when Prakash Ambedkar had joined the MVA, Mahavika Sagadi, he had said that it will be uh, Shiv Shakti and uh, he said that this will boost the prospects of the alliance. Let's listen in to the reaction coming in from Prakash Ambedkar. <laughs> पब्लिक मीडिया के सामने उन्होंने जाहिर किया था कि वो लोकसभा पुना के लड़ना चाहते हैं लेकिन जो राजनीतिक बात मेरे ख्याल से अलग-अलग स्तरों पे जो चली है उसको कहीं तो भी कंसोलिडेट करने की हम लोग की कोशिश चल रही है और शायद मेरे ख्याल से हम लोग उसमें सक्सेस हो गए ऐसा मैं मान के चलता हूं आज मैं उसके बारे में कुछ नहीं कह सकता लेकिन दो तारीख के पहले मैं कहूंगा कि उसका पूरा विवरण जो है वो आपके सामने आ जाएगा और उसी के साथ साथ कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज और कैंडिडेट और कौन से कौन से दल वहां पर लड़ रहे हैं उसकी भी जानकारी आपको दी जाएगी क्या महाराष्ट्र में आप तीसरे फ्रंट के बारे में विचार कर रहे हैं क्या मैंने तो मैंने तो मैंने, तो मैंने, तो मैंने जैसे कहा कि अभी कुछ नहीं कह रहा हूं मैं दो दो तारीख तक रुकिए इतना मैं कहूंगा आपसे महाविकास अगाड़ी से आप उनकी बातचीत जो है वो आ, किस स्तर पर पहुंची है क्योंकि वो थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू well to give us more insights uh, we have sandeep joining us from mumbai sandeep this is a big blow for the uddhav thakre led uh, mahavikas agadi if prakash ambedkar plans to float a third front remember he had demanded for 27 seats, but the MBA had offered only three seats in return. And this seems to have dis, uh, you know, disgruntled Prakash Ambedkar, who is now mulling a third front. What more developments do we have and uh, what are the seats that the MBA had offered? See, as far as, uh, you know, uh, the seat sharing within the Mahavikas Agadi is concerned and as far as Vanchit Bhaujan Agadi is concerned, yes, there were talks between uh, 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 Mahavikas Agadi and uh, VBA, but ultimately it failed. As far as uh, Vanchit Bhaujan Agadi is concerned, Prakash Ambedkar have been demanding more than 10 seats in the state of Maharashtra and he wanted a respectful, uh, you know, uh, seat share within the Mahavikas Agadi, which didn't happen. Ultimately, uh, Mahavikas Agadi and the rest of the members uh, of Mahavikas Agadi wanted uh, uh, 
to use Prakash Ambedkar's uh, uh, Dalit vote bank and which would have definitely benefited uh, to Mahavikas Agadi. But it seems that the talks have failed as uh, the seat sharing has not been uh, done in a way uh, uh, like how uh, Prakash Ambedkar himself wanted. Now, Prakash Ambedkar is in touch with the small, small groups of the society, small, small uh, 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 communities, in fact, and uh, be it Manoj Jarange Patil, what we've been told that he is also in touch with Manoj Jarange Patil, and there are high chances that he would field uh, candidates on all the 48 Lok Sabha constituencies in uh, the state of Maharashtra. Now, if at all this happens, remember Prakash Ambedkar enjoys a, a, a good number of, uh, you know, uh, vote share in the state of Maharashtra if we talk about the Dalit vote bank. Indeed, you cannot deny the fact that uh, Prakash Ambedkar has the good hold in the Dalit uh, constituencies wherein Dalits are into majority. And if at all, uh, people like Manoj Jarange Patil support uh, 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 Vanchit Bahujan Agadi or Prakash Ambedkar, then there are high chances that there would be Maratha and Dalit uh, candidates in the uh, state of Maharashtra and wherein uh, they will in fact uh, make an impact in the Lok Sabha election. And if at all this happens, this will will definitely uh, put a dent on Mahavikas Agadi and will cut the votes of uh, Mahavikas Agadi and definitely this will lead uh, uh, to, you know, uh, the loss of seats and the constituencies of Mahavikas Agadi. So definitely if this happens, uh, it will be a major jolt to Uddhav Sena, Sharad Pawar and as well as the Congress party who failed the talks with the Vanchit Bahujan Agadi, although Prakash Ambedkar has already said that on 2nd of April, he will come up with something that will give a new way to the Maharashtra politics. That is what he told in the media bite right now. Also, there is another press conference that is held today, later in the day. It will be crucial to see what kind of announcement he makes in that very press conference. Well, Sandeep, last year when VBA, uh, uh, you know, uh, agreed to join hands with the uh, Mahavikas Agadi, had called it Bhim Shakti with Shiv Shakti, but it feels like uh, Shiv Shakti has, uh, you know, now th there won't be any Shiv Shakti with pra uh, Prakash Ambedkar because uh, he's clearly disgruntled with uh, the talks that have failed uh, within the Mahavikas Agadi. And also, if you remember what happened in 2019, he had allied with the AIMIM and he was uh, a major vote cutter for the NCP and the Congress because eight to nine seats uh, was where uh, Prakash Ambedkar and AIMIM together, you know, stole some of the votes that belong to the Congress and the NCP. So how big of a blow will this be if Prakash Ambedkar uh, floats a third front? See, remember last time it was AIMIM, but this time it could be uh, AIMIM, including left, including, uh, you know, Manoj Jarange Patil uh, uh, supporters as well. So, uh, uh, what uh, uh, Prakash Ambedkar is planning right now is he is uh, trying to uh, take into confidence uh, the small, small leaders, the small, small uh, uh, group leaders who have good hold into specific uh, uh, locality or specific districts wherein people like uh, Manoj Jarange Patil has a good hold in Marathwada uh, region of of Maharashtra. So, uh, he uh, can uh, do alliance with him and he may uh, back Manoj Jarange Patil's uh, candidate out there and in such a scenario, he could, uh, he could be proven, you know, he can uh, prove himself as a major vote cutter uh, in the state of Maharashtra for Lok Sabha election and if at all this happens, definitely this will has a huge, uh, have a huge impact on Mahavikas Agadi and uh, this will lead to the loss of maximum seats of Mahavikas Agadi if Prakash Ambedkar goes up with this move. Right, Sandeep, all eyes will be on April 2nd because that's the date that Prakash Ambedkar has set to announce his decision. Let's wait and watch how things pan out for the Maha Alliance in Maharashtra. But let's shift our focus now to the top stories uh, with, respect to, we are, uh, with respect to what we are tracking at the moment right now because uh, Income Tax Department he continues on Congress. It has issued a demand notice of 1,700 crores to the Congress. The fresh demand notice including penalty and interest is for the assessment years 2017-18 to 2020 and 2021.
BJP to lodge complaint to state election commission against Chief Minister Sidramaya's son. Now BJP will file a complaint against Yatindra Sidramaya's statement calling Union Home Minister Amit Shah a gunda. The BSF intelligence unit conducted a thorough search in Nagalam district of Amritsar and seized a packet of heroin weighing over 1 kilograms. Now, the unidentified men trying to smuggle the narcotics managed to flee the spot. Three people were killed as roof of a bar collapsed in Chennai's Chamiya's Road on Thursday night. The incident reportedly occurred due to an underground metro construction. Western Command of the Indian Army conducted an exercise to validate integrated anti-aircraft weapon systems. The exercise by Airavad Gagan Rakshaks aimed to destroy aerial targets including swarm drones in preparation for future warfare. Let's now talk about uh, the all-important conversation between the Prime Minister and Bill Gates. Speaking on renewable energy in India, PM Modi highlighted that India has made rapid advancements in the renewable energy sector, adding that India is aiming to make advancements in green hydrogen as well. Here's a snippet of uh, the PM Modi and Bill Gates freewheeling chat. We are talking about climate. I am renewable energy बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ रहे हैं सोलर एनर्जी विंड एनर्जी हम काफी काम हम न्यूक्लियर के अंदर काफी तेजी से आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं उसी प्रकार से ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन को हम बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं मैं तमिलनाडु में था तो हमने एक हाइड्रोजन से चलने वाली बोट मैंने वहां से रवाना की जो काशी में मेरे जो टूरिस्ट आते हैं उनके लिए ये एनवायरनमेंट फ्रेंडली पोल्यूशन फ्री ये बोट काशी से अयोध्या के लिए चलाने के लिए मैंने सोचा है ताकि क्लीन गंगा के मेरी जो मूवमेंट है उसको भी बंद मिलेगा एनवायरनमेंट कॉन्शियस सोसाइटी के लिए भी वहां से एक मैसेजिंग होता रहेगा और इंडिया ब्रिंग्स टू द क्लाइमेट चेंज रिच हिस्ट्री केयरिंग अबाउट द एनवायरनमेंट how do you see connecting those? Hamari yang reuse, recycle, ye hamari nature mein hai. Ab dekhe ye jo jacket hai, ye recycle material ka hai. Lekin ye recycle material ki bhi vishasta hai. Iski vishasta ye hai, jo tailor ke haan kapde ke tukde nikalte hai. Ye sara waste ye khatta kiya hua hai. Phir jo purane kapde hai, usko bhi isme liya hua hai. Or 30-40% waste plastic bottle ko liya hua hai. और उन सबको रिसाइकल करके ये कपड़ा बना है। Yeah, the innovation uh, both here in India and the world is, is coming along. Are the goals that we set, you know, staying below 1.5 degrees, you know, we probably will miss that. Uh, even two degrees isn't going to be so easy. And uh, the thing you and I really emphasized in Paris. Uh, is the need for innovation. You know, if the green approach can be made as cheap or cheaper than the old approach, you know, then the adoption will be very good. If it's more expensive, it's not clear who's gonna be willing to pay for that. You know, should the rich countries pay for that? It's not fair to tell India to slow down, you know, building basic uh, infrastructure just because the West had those emissions, uh, but you'll have to have some adaptation because there will be some warming, particularly uh, which farmers will have to, to, to take into account. I think we should go to two-pronged strategy. One is innovation, and in the innovation, we have the requirements of how climate-friendly, nature-friendly, उसमें इनोवेशन हो। भारत ने भी अपने इस बजट में एक लाख करोड़ रुपये का कॉर्पोरेट फंड बनाया है। और यंग जनरेशन को हमने कहा है कि आप इनोवेशंस के लिए आइए। 50 साल तक इंटरेस्ट फ्री लोन हम देंगे।
Well, we have some uh, big breaking news coming in from uh, Telangana. Case has been booked against former minister and BRS working president KT Ramarao. Now, the case uh, comes after a Congress leader has filed a complaint against KTR for making comments against the chief minister of Telangana, Revan Reddy. Now, the Congress leader in the complaint had uh, stated that misleading and baseless allegations were being made by KTR only to disrupt peace and security. So, a police complaint and a case has been registered at Hanam Konda in uh, Telangana. A zero FIR has also been registered against KTR on the complaint of Congress leaders. Now, the complaint and the case comes after uh, KTR openly criticized the Raven Thredi government and uh, made a few comments which the Congress believes disrupts peace and security in the state. So, in light of uh, KTR's uh, recent comments, a case has now been filed against the former minister and BRS working president KTR in Telangana's Hanam Konda district. Well, we have Aneri joining us live from Hyderabad. Aneri, what are these comments made by uh, the BRS working president? And uh, tell us about uh, the complaint and the action taken by Congress so far. Well, uh, Deepak, what we are seeing is that uh, yesterday KTR had visited Anukunda and he had met few farmers there where he had also made comments against the Congress government and Revan Reddy, the Chief Minister of Telangana, that they are not fulfilling the promises which they had made and many other comments were made while speaking to the media there and now what we are seeing is that based on the complaint of a Congress leader, Hanukunda Police has now uh, registered a uh, case against uh, the BRS working president and former minister KTR and also at the same time, uh, they, they have they have in the complaint copy it is stated that KTR had made misleading and baseless uh, allegations against uh, Chief Minister Ravan Reddy, and that would disrupt peace. And uh, that is the reason why a, com a complaint was given to the Hanmukonda Police. And now what we are seeing is that Hanmukonda Police has now registered a case against BRS working president KT Ramarao in connection with the comments which he had made during his visit to the uh, to Hanmukonda and meeting the farmers he had met the farmers remember uh, the, there is a massive face off between the BRS and the Congress which has been going on right now and now amid all of this after KTR had visited the farmers there now we are seeing that based on the complaint given by the Congress leader we see that police has now registered a case against KTR and also a zero FIR has been uh, a zero FIR has been registered is what we are being told zero FIR has been registered is what we are being told well, Aneri, time and again, we've seen the BRS uh, raking up the promises made by the Congress government and uh, the BRS is also trying to corner Raven Reddy's government saying that they have failed to fulfill all the promises that were made to the people of Telangana. So has the Congress responded to KTR? Well, uh, Deepak, what we have been seeing is that since last uh, three and a half to four months, uh, where, where, since the Congress government has uh, come in power here in the state of Telangana, we have been seeing that BRS time and again has been questioning the Congress government for not fulfilling the promises which they had made and also the welfare schemes of the BRS government back then which were started by KCR, that those, uh, those financial aids also have not been given to the people, to the farmers is what the BRS has, leveling, uh, has been leveling this allegation and now we see that Congress, now that uh, we have uh, just a few, uh, few months from now, uh, that notification for the Lok Sabha polls have already been announced. Congress says that they have already been doing and fulfilling the promises which they have made uh, during the assembly polls. And now that will help the Congress in the Lok Sabha polls is what the Congress leaders say. But the face-off between the BRS and the Congress continues. Amid all of this, we see that BRS has been leveling allegations against the Congress government here that they are are not fulfilling the promises. Right, Aneri, many thanks for joining us with all those details. Viewers, let's shift our focus on election related updates that we're tracking at this hour. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to kick off the Lok Sabha poll campaign in Uttar Pradesh's Meerut on March 30th. PM will hold a mega rally and will be accompanied by Meerut candidate Arun Govil.
Ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, Assam BJP MLA Himanga Thakuria said people of Assam trust the leadership of Himanta Biswa Sarma. He took a jab at the opposition saying Congress and the AIUDF will be nowhere in the elections this time. Another setback to BRS party MLA Kadiyam Srihari and BRS Warangal Lok Sabha candidate Kadiyam Kavya are likely to join the grand old party. Union Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya during his poll campaign in Shivpur area of Madhya Pradesh said he worked for the network of progress and development for the people. He added that he solved the problems that no other leader was willing to. Makri kya karta hai? Makri jal banata hai. Mere sarasam ki jal haa banai hai. Mere sab sankhano ki jal haa banai hai. Mere sishai ke saadhan ki jal banai hai. Mere prakriti aur vikas ki jal. Mere parivar chano ki liye mene banai hai. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath will attend a conference today at Uttar Pradesh's Bijnor district. The visit is mainly for the campaigns ahead of Lok Sabha polls. Moving on viewers, it is Good Friday today and it is being observed by Christians across India and the world. Now Christians participated in Good Friday prayers at St. Joseph's Cathedral in Tiruvananthapuram. PM Modi also tweeted about it. Good Friday, let us remind all of you all that it commemorates the profound sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Here's a quick report. <laughs> On the solemn occasion of Good Friday, prayers are being offered by the devotees. PM Modi posted on Good Friday, commemorating the profound sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Devotees joined the stations of the cross procession to St. Joseph Cathedral in Kerala's Tiruvananthapuram district. The stations of the cross commemorate Jesus' suffering as he was crucified on Good Friday. Going back to the early days of Christianity, Jesus was arrested by the Romans and sent We have some uh, big breaking news coming in. Congress leader Yatindra Sidrame on Thursday targeted the BJP leader and Home Minister Amit Shah by accusing him of being a gunda rowdy and said that PM Modi has such persons as his associates. Well, the BJP has come out hard on Yatindra Sidramaya, son of Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaya. Let's listen in. Yatindra Sidramaya, kya kaha, kya bole, mai dekha TV pe. Wo dikta hai Sidramaya ka beta Yatindra Sidramaya ka samskuti, ye asabhya samskuti hai, ye samskar ka baat nahi hai. इसलिए मैं उनका कहना चाहता हूँ ये अहंकार का बात है दुरहंकार का बात है इसलिए हम मुख्यमंत्री के बेटा यतीन्द्र सिद्धरामय्या के खिलाफ हम 
इलेक्शन कमीशन को और पोलिस स्टेशन को जाकर कंप्लेंट करेंगे सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट आया है जब हमारे अमित शाह जी गुजरात में थे उसके संदर्भ में वो यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया ने क्या बोले उसके संबंध में सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट आया है इसलिए मैं विनंती करता हूँ यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया जी को अगर आपको पढ़ने का संस्कृति है तो पढ़िए पढ़कर आप बात करिए नहीं तो ये कल्चर ठीक नहीं है सभी कर्नाटक के जनता सिद्धरामैया का बेटा ऐसा वर्स्ट कल्चर कैसे आया इसके बारे में सोच रहा है इसलिए ये सभी विषय के बारे में क्या बोले क्या आ, आ, कहा इसके बारे में इलेक्शन के संदर्भ में कर्नाटक का, का जनता लेसन टीच करेंगे अमित शाह जी के बारे में दर्द दिखाता है उसका स्टेटमेंट के वजह से बाप के नाम पर राजनीति में नहीं है अमित शाह जी अमित शाह जी 1982 में बूथ अध्यक्ष रहे बूथ अध्यक्ष के नाते काम करते करते यहाँ तक पहुँच गया है यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया जी का पब्लिक आइडेंटिटी क्या है उनका पब्लिक आइडेंटिटी केवल उनका बाप का नाम का भल पर है सिद्धरामैया जी का नाम के बिना उनका पब्लिक आइडेंटिटी क्या है केवल सिद्धरामैया जी का पावर और पैसा के वजह से उन्हें सार्वजनिक रूप में जिंदा है यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया अपना होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह जी ऐसा नहीं है ग्रास रूट लेवल पर संघर्ष करते करते यहाँ तक पहुँच गया है एक आइडेंटिटी उनका आइडेंटिटी है आइडियालॉजी के वजह से उनका आइडेंटिटी है एक कार्यकर्ता के वजह से एक नेता के वजह से यतेंद्र सिद्धरामैया केवल सिद्धरामैया जी का बेटा है कार्यकर्ता भी नहीं है नेता भी नहीं है देखो ये रउडी संस्कृति बीजेपी में नहीं है ये कांग्रेस की मामला है ये कांग्रेस वाला कभी भी दूसरों के ऊपर ऐसे ही बताता है मगर वही करता है अभी देखो उनका उनका यूथ प्रेसिडेंट कौन थे कौन थे उनका उन प्रेसिडेंट नहीं श्रीनिवास श्रीन क्या गुंडा नहीं है नलपाड कौन है गुंडा नहीं है जेल में जेल में रख के आया ना वो गुंडा को अब अध्यक्ष बनाया In some tragic news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir's Ramban area at least 10 people have lost their lives after a taxi rolled down a gorge on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway our correspondent Gursimran gets you more on this 10 people have lost their life in an unfortunate incident that took place on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway when a passenger vehicle that was traveling from Jammu towards the Kashmir Valley met an accident and rolled down into a 300 meter deep gorge in the area near the Battery Chashma of the Ramban district the incident was reported at around 1:15 early today morning after which the teams from the Ramban police station along with the quick reaction team the UTDRF and the civil Respondents reached the spot and the rescue operations were launched. Ten bodies have been found in the gorge, and now the attempts are being made to bring out these bodies from the deep gorge. However, continuous rain and tough terrain is making it really challenging. SSP Ramban Anuj Kumar has confirmed that ten people have lost their life, and the attempts are on to bring back the bodies of the deceased. Two have been identified, including one from Jammu and other from Bihar. With Sir Jivan Kumar. Gursimran Singh for Republic Media Network. Well, it's time for a quick break, but on the other side, India Line seals seat-sharing pact in Bihar RJD to field candidates on 26 seats. Congress denied Purnia. हिंदी अलायस वाले लोग बार बार जानबूझकर हिंदू धर्म का अपमान करते हैं इनका हर बयान बहुत सोचा समझा हुआ होता है गुर्दाबाद, गुर्दाबाद। 
another controversy has hit the posh Ashoka University. A video of students raising caste slogans has gone viral, where they can be heard demanding caste census on campus and shouting anti-Brahmin and anti-Banya slogans. Former Infosys Chief Financial Officer Mohandas Pai has questioned caste hatred in the university, seeking intervention of the union Magisterial investigation ordered into Mukhtar Ansari's death. Family alleges low poison given to the gangster turned Neta. Congress lap with the 1,700 crore IT notice party says will take battle to court. PM Modi flags misuse of artificial intelligence and free wheeling. Chat with Bill Gates says must ensure nobody is misguided. Indy seal seat sharing packed in Bihar Raj AD to file the field the candidates on 26 seats. Congress denied Purnia seat. Jay Shri Ram chants echo as Kangna holds roadshow in Himachal's Monday. Big breakthrough in Bengaluru Blast Probe and I arrests mastermind Muzamil Sharif after multi state raids. Our review was getting some big breaking updates coming in. Mukhtar Ansari's silence written to the Bagda DM Omar Ansari demanding autopsy by Delhi Ames. That's what we're learning of right now. Top updates coming on Republic TV. And uh, this coming in viewers as we keep getting more updates. Uh, remember that we have been getting you top updates where convicted uh, gangster after Mukhtar Ansari's death. We are seeing uh, multiple updates coming in especially that uh, section 144 has been imposed in several parts of UP. And uh, the... Uh, Post-mortem of Mukhtar Ansari will also be happening. Now, uh, the police is on high alert after the imposition of Section 144 across Uttar Pradesh. An alert has uh, been uh, issued in several districts of UP, including uh, multiple areas to avoid any untoward incident. But at the same time, what we're learning right now, viewers, there seems to be an update coming in where Mukhtar Ansari's son has written to the Banda DM, Omar Ansari, demanding autopsy by Delhi Ames. Uh, top update coming on Republic TV viewers. And uh, this is coming in viewers as uh, we are seeing that uh, a panel of two to five doctors already slated to conduct the post-mortem of Ansari's body. Uh, the post-mortem is, uh, is likely to be done in presence of the deceased family members. But uh, at this point of time, the son, the son of Mukhtar Ansari wants the autopsy by Delhi Ames. By Delhi Ames and not at the hospital, not at the Banda Hospital or at the Rani Durgavati Medical College. So they want that the autopsy should be done at Delhi Ames viewers. That's the big update coming on Republic TV. And uh, this is coming in viewers as uh, we are 
getting the top updates on the kind of allegations the family has been making uh, when it comes to Mukhtar Ansari's death. My family alleges slow poison given to gangster turned Neta. So let's go straight across to Akil who's joining us right now. Akil, now the family has made some allegations and they have said that this uh, case could be of slow poison being given uh, to Mukhtar Ansari that led to his death. Uh, but uh, what exactly is um, the son saying? Because a post-mortem was supposed to be happening at a hospital in uh, the Banda area itself. Take us through the top details and when is a post-mortem due and is it a, is it a likelihood that the post-mortem could be shifted uh, and the autopsy later on would be shifted to Delhi Ames later? No, not really. We are just at the very spot where the post-mortem was being done. And the latest, latest update that we have right now is that post-mortem has been completed and his body, Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi, the dreadest, dreaded gangster's body, will be transferred from this Banda Medical College Hospital to Ghazipur. And here, you know, the latest update that we are getting uh, from the official sources that uh, earlier what has happened, that uh, Mukhtar Abbas, um, that... Uh, uh, Mukhtar Ansari's uh, son uh, has demanded uh, that uh, uh, that the post-mortem should be done at Ames. Uh, but, but what we know so far in this case that uh, uh, that the, that the post-mortem of his body was done ho uh, over here only. And apart from that, there were nine members team that has done this post-mortem, which include five doctors, one magistrate, one police official, one photographer who has done the videography of uh, the entire post-mortem. And apart from that, there was uh, 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 son of uh, Mukhtar Tar Ansari also, that is uh, uh, Umar Ansari. So here you see the postmortem has been done and right now his body will be shifted from this very place to his native place uh, to Ghazipur and the route has been defined uh, by, the, um, by the police team officials because uh, 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 all the security arrangements ha have been made. Here you can see uh, behind me the visuals of uh, the SSP officials over here, the Banda police officials uh, 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 also over here. So if you see at, at, the, at the very ground zero, what we have been told by the police department officials that uh, the, the route that, that will be uh, following, uh, following the Mukhtar, Ans Mukhtar Ansari is uh, from, uh, from here, from Banda to, Ghazi uh, to Ghazipur. It will be via uh, Allahabad uh, to Varanasi, uh, the outer, ri outer ring road of Varanasi to, towards Ghazipur. And apart from the second part of your question, which you asked about the allegations, the allegations made by Mukhtar Ansari's son is that her that his father was slowly poisoned. That is what he is claiming. His, his, his uncle is also claiming. That is Mukhtar Ansari's brother is also claiming. But the official information that we got from the hospital uh, at this very point at, at Bada has, has said that and, and, it's, and in the medical bulletin it, it, it uh, revealed that the, at, the death of Mukhtar Ansari has happened due to a cardiac arrest. That is the official information that we are getting right now. Yes, back to you. Right. Uh, just uh, take a view us through exactly also what uh, the family has been alleging. You are saying that uh, uh, that the kind of allegations coming in from the family is, is, is that uh, that Mukhtar Ansali was subjected to slow poisoning. Now, if you could take a view us through what do they mean by that? Are they are they alleging there's a certain uh, party behind this? Or have they taken names of someone who could be behind the slow poisoning? They allege the slow the slow poisoning happened in prison itself. Take us through those details coming in, Akil. Well, as per our sources, they have been claiming that slow poisoning has happened, but they haven't given any proof. So they have been saying that there's a there's a major foul, foul play that has happened. But uh, if you go by the official uh, version that we are getting uh, from the from our sources, that are simply confirming that the death which has happened is due to the cardiac arrest. And there were certain other ailments because he has been complaining about it uh, earlier. Mukhtar Ansari has complained about uh, the slow poisoning uh, issue, and apart from that, his brother has also claimed about it, and he was not doing well on health wise recently few days back if you talk about uh, March 19 again on March 19 he claimed that uh, he's not feeling well then he was hospitalized at that time and uh, and then after March 19 he was again uh, 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 asked for medical treatment on March 21st so if you see he was uh, complaining about his health issue and and the uh, heart attack issue that we that we got to know uh, from the official sources that uh, the uh, the uh, the main cause of the reason of death of his death is heart uh, heart 
heart attack so this is not the first time that uh, when uh, when uh, when he got the heart attack oh, the first time he got, Mukhtar Ansari got the heart attack was in 2018 so this is not the first time when he got the heart attack so the, the, the so once the investigation will complete then only it will be clear that uh, what actually led uh, transpired or what actually led to the death of uh, uh, Mukhtar Ansari's death yes Right, Akil is getting a stop. It's coming in right now. And Akil, if you could take our viewers through, uh, you know, what uh, the security arrangements are like, especially where you are. We know that uh, the police and administration has been on alert. Uh, there is also Section 144 imposed in a couple of areas where uh, no crowd has been uh, allowed to gather in some places. Take us through what the security is looking like. Well, uh, security deployment is over uh, is very heavy over here. 144 has been imposed, and not only in Banda. Apart from that, if you see, uh, as far as sources in Ghazipur, also in Mau, Mau is a constituency where he, Mukhtar Ansari used to contest. He was a five-term MP from Mau constituency, two times on Bahujan Samajwadi Party BSP ticket, and and when when he was uh, expelled from the party, he, then he founded his own party. So if you see, uh, he, his clad is is uh, is a very uh, long term, and he was. Was a five-term MP, and one time he also contested Lok Sabha constituent, uh, Lok Sabha elections, in which he lost uh, that election. So, if you see, he has been uh, uh, initially a gangster, then turned politician. So, uh, he has uh, got a dual kind of personality. One is of a of a Robin Hood kind of personality, another another one is of a, 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 a Messiah kind of personality. So, there have been uh, there have been people over here who have been claiming that for for some he was good, for some he was uh, not really good. Uh, even worse than that. So, if you talk about the security front over here, all the necessary arrangements uh, have been done by the Bada police. We have been talking to the senior officials in the police department, the DM also, uh, and uh, SP also over here, and they have been saying all, all the security arrangements have been done, and there is no chance of any untoward incident. And if you see, not only in Bada, apart from Bada, other districts, uh, the security have been tightened up in other districts also, including uh, Ghazipur and Mau and Varanasi and Allahabad itself. Yes, back to you, Shivangi. Thank you so much for join, joining us there. Uh, Akil, give us top updates. And we'll come back to Akil as we get more updates on the story. But the politics over Mukhtar and Sadi's death has escalated. Opposition has raised concern over law and order in Uttar Pradesh following Mukhtar and Sadi's death. Take a look. अबे जांच का मामला बनता ही है या नहीं कि संयोग बस हुआ या अचानक हुआ जब उन्हें पहले संकेत थे कि ऐसा हो सकता है दूसरी बात है कि जो 100 धारा पूरे उत्तर प्रदेश में लगाया है एक रिएक्शन पैदा करने के लिए कि हिंदू मुसलमान हो जाए ऐसा कौन सा प्रोटेस्ट हो रहा है पूरे इलेक्शन को प्रभावित करते के लिए और तीसरी बात है कि वीडियो अंडर वीडियोग्राफी इसका पोस्टमार्टम होना चाहिए और सच्चाई पता लगना चाहिए निश्चित रूप से जो उनकी हार्ट अटैक से डेथ हुई है ये जांच का विषय है उसके गहन रूप से जांच जरूर होनी चाहिए कि जिन परिस्थितियों में उनकी मृत्यु हुई है वो संदेहास्पद लगती है हमारे नेता थे इस तरह का भी कोई उसके उसमें था नहीं सिम्टम कुछ था नहीं पहले से कि कोई इस तरह की बीमारी हो को कोई इस तरह का वो हो और अचानक जिन परिस्थितियों में मृत्यु हुई है उन परिस्थितियों में संदेह होना स्वाभाविक है और उसकी जांच की मांग जो कर रहे हैं जायज है जांच होनी चाहिए ताकि सच्चाई सामने आ सके जो पहले से संदेह किया जा रहा था जो प्रश्न पैदा हो रहे थे संबंधित अधिकारी विभाग या सरकार के द्वारा उसको गंभीरता से क्यों नहीं लिया गया ये सब जांच का विषय है निश्चित रूप से जांच होनी चाहिए ताकि इस तथ्य सामने आ सके पिछले कई सालों से रमजानों में इस तरीके से जेल में रहने वाले जो 
चाहे शहाबुद्दीन भाई हो चाहे अतीक चकिया रहे हो चाहे मुख्तार भाई का इस बार होना ये लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की धज्जियाँ उड़ाना है और कहीं ना कहीं इसे संविधान की धज्जियाँ उड़ाना है जिस तरीके से भारतीय जनता पार्टी अपनी सत्ता के बल पर अपनी सत्ता का दुरुपयोग करते हुए अपने जेल में रहने संरक्षण में रहते हुए इस तरीके की मौतें हो रही हैं और उसको बीमारी की शक्ल देने की बात कर रही है चाहे वो पहले भी हो चुका है इस तरीके और आज इस तरह मुख्तार भाई के साथ हुआ यकीनी तौर पर एक बड़ी जांच होनी चाहिए ये एक बड़ा सवालिया निशान है इस परिवार से हमारे बहुत अच्छे रिश्ते थे और ये परिवार शायद आज़ादी के लड़ाई में भी इस परिवार का बहुत बड़ा योगदान था तो देखिए इनकी मौत संदेह के घेरे में है तो देखिए न्यायालय को इसमें स्वयं रुचि लेना चाहिए अगर जेल में किसी की मृत्यु होती है तो उसकी जिम्मेदारी प्रशासनिक अधिकारी जेल से लेकर के सरकार से लेकर सबकी जिम्मेदारी है BJP's uh, Lok Sabha candidate and actor Kangana Ranaut holds road show in Himachal Pradesh's Mandi constituency. But Kangana stated that they are proud to have the daughter of Mandi representing their constituency. She also expressed gratitude to the people. Tamil Nadu state BJP president Kiran Malai campaign in support of NDA ally Tamil Malayala Congress candidate V N Venugopal in Tamil Nadu. Anamala I said that nothing good will happen for the constituency if anyone other than Venugopal wins. AIDMK General Secretary has said and inaugurated the uh, party's parliamentary election office in Madurai. AIDMK General Secretary EPS said that he the campaign is going well and people are supporting us he also emphasized on winning all the 40 constituencies Ahead of the Lok Sabha polls BRS MP K Keshav Rao met uh, Telangana Chief Minister Revan Reddy and uh, this happened at his residence uh, Keshav Rao has informed him of his intent to resign from the BRS and join the Congress Tamil Nadu Minister and DMK leader Udayan Edi Stalin campaigns in uh, Tamil Nadu for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Udayan Edi Stalin stated that MK Stalin will fulfill all the promises made to them. Our right, viewers has moved ahead right now to the other story we are tracking. The Maryland governor has stated that they have a very long road ahead to clear. as the biden administration has approved 60 million dollars in immediate federal aid after the deadly collapse let's have a look at this report for more this morning we submitted an initial 60 million dollar request to the biden harris administration for initial mobilization operations and debris recovery efforts and i can report that as of this afternoon the biden harris administration has approved that request. The best evidence we have at this time suggests that to advance our recovery efforts, we need to do more work in order to clear the channel. As of last night, the Maryland State Police have suspended diving operations due to security concerns, and further engineering analysis is ongoing to determine our next steps to bring closure to the families and set the course for salvage operations. Cannot rebuild the bridge until we have cleared the debris. We are working closely with our partners to marshal the funds to move forward on that build so we can be ready when we reach that point of the work. And viewers, while PM Modi and Bill Gates discussed at length the digital revolution in India, the PM also cautioned against AI misuse and deep fakes. PM said its AI-generated content should have a watermark in order to combat the issues of deep fakes. A snippet of that conversation is here. AI ने जो challenges खड़ी की हैं, वो मैंने देखा है कि इतनी अच्छी चीज अगर प्रॉपरली ट्रेन किया बिना किसी के हाथ में दे दी जाए तो वो मिस होने की संभावना ज्यादा है अब मैंने एआई से जुड़े सारे ब्रेन से उनसे भी बात की 
मैंने कहा शुरू में हमने कोई भी ए आई जनरेटेड चीज है उस पर आना चाहिए वाटरमार्क कि ये ए आई जनरेटेड है ताकि कोई मिसगाइड ना हो और ये बुरी चीज नहीं है सिंपली इट्स ए आई जनरेटेड तो मैं उसका वैल्यू समझ लूंगा डीप फेक भारत जैसे डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्रीज में और इतनी विशाल कंट्री में कोई एक डीप फेक में कुछ भी चीज डाल दे जैसे मेरे ही वॉइस में कुछ ऐसी गंदी चीज डाल दे तो शुरू में तो लोग मान जाएंगे तो बहुत बड़ी आग लग जाएगी तो ये जरूरी है कि डीप फेक ए आई जनरेटेड और ये सोर्स है ये आज शुरू के दिनों में आगे चल करके क्या होगा जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी शायद लेकिन ये हमने कुछ डूज एंड डोंट्स उस पर सीरियसली सोचना पड़ेगा उसी प्रकार से मैं एआई से पहले काम वो लू जिसकी मेरी महारत हो मेरी महारत हो और मैं थक गया हूं सो जाऊं वो कर लेगा तो वो ठीक नहीं है जैसे हम हम कह देते कि तुम पांच बजे उसको फोन लगा देना तो ए कर देगा या मैं कह दूंगा कि मेरा वो गाना मुझे सुना दो तो कर देगा तो मुझे पता होना चाहिए ना कि भाई मुझे इस समय किस गाने को सुनने की जरूरत है मेरे लिए क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है अगर मैं ये ना कर दूँ मेरे साथ टूल का ही उपयोग करने के लिए खेल खेलता रहूँ तो शायद मैं वैल्यूएडिशन नहीं कर पाऊंगा टाइम पास कर लूंगा is so important and yet you know people have concerns privacy concerns how do we strike the balance there data ek bahut bada issue bana hua hai jab main duniya mein digital divide ki baat sunta tha main kehta mere desh mein main sab kuch nahi hone dunga ki digital divide ho aur digital public infrastructure ye apne aap mein bahut badi requirement hai aaj mere yahan gaon tak main ye digital facility pahunchana chahta hu तो मुझे लगता है वो बहुत बड़ा टारगेट ग्रुप है महिलाएं तुरंत नई चीजों को स्वीकार करती है ये मेरा अनुभव है मेरे देश में उनके अनुकूल कौन सी चीजें मैं टेक्नोलॉजी में ले जाऊंगा तो वो एकदम से एक्सेप्टेबली बनती है मैंने एक कार्यक्रम लिया है नमो ड्रोन दीदी उसके पीछे मेरे दो लक्ष्य है एक तो मैं भारत के गाँवों में तीन करोड़ महिलाओं को लखपति दीदी बनाना चाहूँ और वो भी एक गरीब परिवार से तो मैं एक साइकोलॉजिकल चेंज करना चाहता हूँ ये छोटी छोटी चीजें नहीं बड़ी चीजें करनी है दूसरा गांव में महिलाएं मतलब यही काम करेगी भैंस को चराएगी गाय को चराएगी दूध दोएगी नहीं मैं उसके हाथ में टेक्नोलॉजी देना चाहता हूँ मैं एक साइकोलॉजिकल चेंज लाना चाहता हूँ गाँव के सब लोगों को लगना चाहिए कि ये हमारे गाँव को बदल रही है एग्रीकल्चर को मैं आधुनिक बनाना वैज्ञानिक बनाना ये जरूरत मैं देखता हूँ और उसी लिए मैंने ड्रोन दीदी का और बहुत सक्सेसफुल चल रहा है मैं इन ड्रोन दीदी से इन दिनों बातें करता हूँ उनको इतनी खुशी है वो कहते हैं हमको साइकिल चलाना नहीं आता था आज हम पायलट बन गए हम ड्रोन चला रहे हैं सोचने का तरीका बदल गया है Income tax department has issued demand notice of 1,700 crores to Congress. The fresh demand notice includes penalty and uh, interest is for assessment years of 2017 to 18 to 2020 to 2021. BJP to lodge complaint to State Election Commission against CM Sidaramaiah son BJP will file a complaint against Yatendra Sidaramaiah over his derogatory remark against Union Home Minister Amit Shah. BSF intelligence unit conducted a thorough research in Amritsar and seized a packet of heroin weighing around 1 kg. The unidentified men trying to smuggle the narcotics managed to flee the spot. Three people have killed. Uh, they were killed as uh, the roof of a bar collapsed in Chennai. Uh, now, this incident reportedly occurred due to underground metro construction. Western Command of Indian Army has conducted an exercise to validate integrated anti-aircraft weapon systems. The exercise by uh, the army aims to destroy aerial targets, including swarm drones, in preparation for future wars.
Good Friday is being observed by Christians across India and the world today and Christians participated in Good Friday prayers at the St. Joseph Cathedral in Thiruvananthapuram. The PM Modi also tweeted about the Good Friday commemorating the profound sacrifice of Jesus Christ. <laughs> On the solemn occasion of Good Friday, prayers are being offered by the devotees. PM Modi posted on Good Friday, commemorating the profound sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Devotees joined the stations of the cross procession to St. Joseph Cathedral in Kerala's Tiruvananthapuram district. The Stations of the Cross commemorate Jesus' suffering as He was crucified on Good Friday. Going back to the early days of Christianity, Jesus was arrested by the Romans and sentenced to death by crucifixion. During the procession, devotees carried a wooden cross depicting the crucifixion. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Um, on board the collapsed uh, ship of the investigation in Baltimore, the novicing independent federal agency is trying to uh, determine the cause of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. French President Emmanuel Macron and Brazilian President signed more than 20 agreements relating to the area of science, technology and innovation. The aim of the agreements, according to Brazil's government, is to strengthen scientific cooperation in the area of biodiversity. U.S. General says that the Biden administration has not given Israel all of the weapons it has requested. U.S. officials have been under pressure to use the ongoing delivery of weapons as leverage to get Israel to increase humanitarian support in Gaza. Jordanians uh, are, are gathering to continue their protests for the fifth day. Hundreds of protesters gathered in Jordan's capital to put an end to Israel's war in Gaza, even though they have uh, gone ahead and held protest marches. This time they appeared more spontaneous and they have larger crowds. Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu has conducted a security cabinet meeting in Jerusalem to discuss on the further actions from their side. Netanyahu downplayed US fears of a humanitarian catastrophe if Israel launches an invasion into Gaza. A bus carrying worshippers headed to an Easter festival plunged off a bridge, killing at least 45 people. Authorities say that the only survivor of the crash was an 8-year-old child who was receiving medical attention. Now, so coming up, viewers, uh, Jay Shri Ram chants Echo as Kangna holds roadshow in Himachal's Monday. A big breakthrough in Bengaluru blast probe and I arrests mastermind Muzamil Sharif after multi-state raids. Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents. Yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements. कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है अस्पर्जेंस ऑन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिवर्ड इंस्टीट्यूशंस दे हैव नॉट सिंपली got rid of article 370 they have dismembered the state of jammu and kashmir by mischievously misinterpreting both article 3 of the constitution and article 370 of the constitution hum is judgment se satisfied nahi hai mera manna ye hai ki supreme court supreme zarur hai 
मगर इन हिंदू धर्म में शक्ति शब्द होता है हम शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं एक शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं इंडिया अलायंस ने अपना घोषणा पत्र शक्ति को खत्म करने के लिए किया है मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन शक्ति स्वरूप माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा Top headlines uh, this afternoon magisterial uh, inquiry ordered into Mukhtar Ansari's death family alleges slow poison given to the gangster turned leader Congress slapped with 1700 crore IT notes party says will take battle to court Prime Minister Modi flags misuse of artificial intelligence in free wheeling chat with Bill Gates uh, says must ensure uh, nobody is misguided. <laughs> India seals a uh, seat sharing pact in Bihar RJD to field uh, candidates on 26 seats Congress denied Punia seat. Jai Shri Ram Chants Echo as Kangna holds a road show in Himachal's Mandi district. Days after dumping, uh, NDA Prakash Ambedkar mulls third front in the state of Maharashtra. And uh, big breakthrough in Bengaluru blast probe and I arrest mastermind Muzammil Sharif after multi-state raids. It is uh, 2 p.m. We are live and breaking. I'm Samiksha Shrivastava. We are getting a fresh uh, reaction. This one of uh, Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri on the fresh uh, IT uh, notice that's been sent to the Congress. Uh, in fact, this is note a uh, 1700 crore IT notice that's been sent to the Congress party to which uh, Hardeep Singh Puri uh, has uh, issued a statement. He's hit out at the Congress, says that Congress must file IT returns every year. uh and the reason why uh, the party has been slapped that 1700 crore notice is because uh congress has not filed it returns in the last 17 years so that's uh, the statement coming in from our uh, union minister of uh, petroleum hardeep singh puri uh who says that congress has failed to uh comply with it rules in fact says that congress has not filed it returns in the last 17 years All right, we will just uh, play out that soundbite of Hardeep Singh Puri. But note, uh, the Congress has challenged uh, the IT notice that uh, has been sent to the party uh, for payment of uh, 1700 crore rupees. Uh, the party says that it will uh, fight the battle legally. To which uh, Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri says uh, that the reason uh, the notice has been sent to the party is because uh, Congress has failed to send uh, file IT returns in the last 17 years. So all out uh, politics that has erupted with Congress uh, calling it nothing but a conspiracy saying that they will challenge uh, th- this and will take the battle to court uh, we have that reaction coming in from Hardeep Singh Puri listen in चाल में विकास का काम किया है मैं कितना हर एक कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी कई कई कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी तो हमारी ऐसी है जहां 10 11 हजार करोड़ एक कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी में काम हुआ केंद्र सरकार के साथ इन्होंने क्या किया जब दिल्ली में 
सांस नहीं लिया जाता था ये कहते थे ये पंजाब वाले प्रणाली चलाते हैं जब आपकी सरकार बनी पंजाब में तब आपने क्या किया तब किसको क्लेम किया कभी मोहल्ला क्लिनिक में गड़बड़ हो जाती है कभी इनकी एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट में हो जाती है और इन्होंने राजनीति ज्वाइन की थी क्या है उन्नीस के बाद सिर्फ एक ही अपॉर्चुनिटी थी जब सिविल लिबर्टीज को साइडलाइन कर दिया खत्म कर दी वो थी 1975 के जून में जो इमरजेंसी लगाई और ये लोकतंत्र की बात करते हैं कांग्रेस वाले और साथ में आम आदमी पार्टी को जोड़ के जो एक दूसरे के खिलाफ लड़ रहे थे जो इनके बारे में नई चर्चा कीजिए इनका समय आ गया है मैंने कल भी किस एक प्लेटफॉर्म पे कहा अब इनके बारे जब आप बात करते हैं पास टेंस में करिए एवरीबडी वेदर यू मी सर इफ आवर इनकम क्वालिफाइज for assessment yes sir every year you have to file a return yes sir exactly. no one is immune from it not any member of any party or the party itself so they had an income tax oh, notice now they are saying itne kitne saal purana bhai notice income tax hai inka 17 ka sir 17 ka no ha usse pehle ke income tax jo hai file nahi kiye pata nahi kya karte hai inki aamdani to khoob hoti hai wo lagta hai wo party wale keh rahe ke hamare paas 2 rupaye nahi hai to unko poocho wo jo congress is blaming bjp sir are na congress ki blame income tax hai plant ki hai are soniya congress ko blame karna उनका एक नेता है उसके पास कांग्रेस के साढ़े तीन सौ करोड़ निकले कहते तो उससे ले लो उससे इलेक्शन लड़ लो थैंक यू थैंक यू Now, Prime Minister Modi and uh, Bill Gates discussed digital revolution in the country as well as strides in sectors including health, agriculture, and education. The Prime Minister highlighted the G20 vision and how India has brought G20 goals to mainstream. Well, the G20 is. way more inclusive and so it was fantastic to see that uh India in hosting it really raised things like digital innovation uh and how this south south collaboration can be far more than just the dialogue with the north it can actually be a system that improves health and you know our foundation is so excited about the positive results that you've achieved here in India uh that will be a partner in trying to take that uh into many other countries aapki baat sahi hai jab main indonesia mein bhi g20 mein gaya tha to duniya ke sabhi deshon ki curiosity ye thi ki aapne ye digital revolution kaise laya hai aur tab main unko samjhata tha ek to maine is technology ko democratize kar diya hai ये किसी के मोनोपोली नहीं रहेगी ये जनता का होगा जनता के द्वारा होगा और जनता में जो भी उभरती हुई टैलेंट इसमें वैल्यूएशन करेगी वो करती चलेगी ताकि ये कॉमन मैन को भी टेक्नोलॉजी पर विश्वास पैदा होना चाहिए जैसे दस डॉक्टर होते हैं सब एमबीबीएस होते हैं लेकिन एक डॉक्टर के पास ज्यादा लोग जाते हैं क्योंकि उसका भरोसा बन गया है digital government uh india's not only adapting technology but it's actually leading the way uh what are some of the things you're excited about health agriculture and education maine jo arogya mandir bana hai 2 lakh arogya mandir ayushman arogya mandir villages mein ye jo mere health center hai unko main directly modern technology se बेस्ट हॉस्पिटल के साथ उनको जोड़ देता पहले शुरू में उनको लगता था कि डॉक्टर तो है नहीं मेरी मुझे देखे बिना कैसे बताता है लेकिन बाद में उनको समझ आया कि टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट और सैकड़ों किलोमीटर दूर बैठा हुआ डॉक्टर भी उनको सही डायग्नोसिस कर रहा है सही एडवाइस कर रहा है तो लोगों का कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ रहा है जितना बड़ी हॉस्पिटल में होता है उतना ही छोटे आरोग्य मंदिर में हो रहा है तो इस ये डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म की कमाल है और दूसरे पर एजुकेशन मैं बच्चों को बेस्ट एजुकेशन पहुंचाना चाहता हूं। टीचर की जो कमियां है उसको मैं टेक्नोलॉजी से भरना चाहता हूं। दूसरा बच्चे का इंटरेस्ट विजुअल में है स्टोरी टेलिंग में है तो उस प्रकार के कंटेंट बनाना उस दिशा में मैं काम कर रहा हूं, ताकि बच्चों को लगना चाहिए और मैंने कुछ सर्वे किया मैंने देखा बच्चों को बड़ा मजा आ रहा है मेरे यहाँ एग्रीकल्चर में भी मैं बहुत बड़ा रिवॉल्यूशन डाल रहा हूँ 
और मैं माइंड सेट बदलना चाहता हूँ Now hours uh, before his death a gangster turned neta Mukhtar Ansari spoke with his uh, family or uh, rather with his son the public managed to get access of that uh, phone conversation we had uh, with his son Umar Ansari uh, listen into that conversation <laughs> जी बाबा सलाकुम आप ठीक हैं हाँ बाबू ठीक है बस अल्लाह ने बचा लिया बापा आप हिम्मत से रहिए इंशाला सब सही होगा रमजान का पाक महीना हम लोग को पूरी उम्मीद आप कुछ बोलिए पापा जो जो हमसे कहना है बोलिए फट फट अठारह तारीख से बात से पाखी नहीं है रोजा ही नहीं है मैं एक वक्त की जमात जी होशी टाइप हो जा रहा है हाँ बाबा बिल्कुल बहुत कमजोर हो गए आप हमने देखा वीडियो में देखा हमने जब आप डिस्चार्ज हुए हैं तो न्यूज वाले दिखा रहे थे पापा भी यही कोर्ट में ही हैं हम मुलाकात की परमिशन करा रहे हैं यहाँ डाली बाग वाली को अदालत में हैं हम यहाँ लखनऊ में और मऊ से भी दरोगा अंकल भी करा रहे हैं अगर परमिशन आज हो के नकल मिल जाएगी तो कल हम मिलने आएंगे आपसे हम और भाभी दोनों लोग दो दिन चार दिन पाँच दिन आओ ताकि हम उठ सकते हम बैठ नहीं पा रहे हैं बाबू और हम समझ रहे हैं बापा बिल्कुल समझ रहे हैं बिल्कुल तो दिख ही रहा है कि बिल्कुल जहर का सब असर है बापा लेकिन अल्लाह बहुत बड़ा है हम लोग पढ़ के दम कर रहे हैं आपके आप बहुत जल्द सही हो जाएंगे इन शह किसी भी तरह हिम्मत करके बापा फोन कर लिया करिए रोज आपका आपकी आवाज सुन के जान में जान आ गई हम लोग के हाँ बाबू हम अल्लाह अगर जिंदा रख कभी रखे होगा तो रूह रहेगी और तो बॉडी तो चली जाएगी बिल्कुल रहेगी बापा इंशाल्लाह बिल्कुल अभी अल्लाह ताला हम लोग को हज कराएंगे आज उम्र सब कराएंगे आप बिल्कुल हिम्मत से रहिए आपसे ज्यादा हिम्मत किसके पास है शफुल मखलूक आते हैं बापा और आप हमें पता है कि आप बहुत हिम्मत से हैं कोई और रहता तो अब तक मर गया होता बापा आप बहुत हिम्मत से हैं देखो बॉडी कंट्रोल नहीं हो पा रही मतलब व्हील चेयर पे आए हैं और व्हील चेयर में खड़े नहीं हो पाए हम अभी जी बापा हम अभी अभी आपकी रिपोर्ट तलब कराने के लिए भी एप्लीकेशन डलवाया है यहाँ कोर्ट में सब जल्दी बेहतर होगा बापा आप किसी भी कोशिश किया करिए कि आके अपनी सब बात जब आपसे कहिए बापा हर जगह And here's a look at uh, news uh, in brief. Uh, BJP's Lok Sabha candidate and actor Kangana Ranaut held roadshow in Himachal's Mandi constituency. Uh, Kangana stated that the people are proud to have a daughter of Mandi represent the constituency, expressing gratitude to the people of the state. Tamil Nadu BJP President uh, Anna Malai campaign in support of NDA's. Uh, Ally Tamil Manila Congress candidate uh, V N Venu Gopal in Tamil Nadu district Anamalai said that nothing good will happen for the constituency if anyone other than Venu Gopal wins the election. Uttar Pradesh है क्या? दोस्तों मुझे हिमाचल प्रदेश के प्रति ऊंच नीच का सामना मैंने सारी उम्र किया है आपको पता है और इसके बारे में मैंने खुलकर बोला है कि मुझे बहुत बुरी तरीके से यहां पे बुली किया जाता है मुझे पहाड़ों से आने के लिए बुली किया जाता है अंग्रेजी ना आने के लिए बुली किया जाता है मुझे छोटा या नीचा दिखाने के लिए हर कोशिश की जाती है और मैंने इसका बड़े खुल के सबको बताया है आज तक बता इस करके मैंने कितने दुश्मन बना लिए लेकिन मैंने बाकी हिमाचली सेलिब्रिटीज की तरह ये नहीं कभी कहा कि मैं दिल्ली से हूं कि मैं बेंगलोर से हूं मैंने हमेशा कहा कि मैं मंडी से हूं और मंडी की ही हूं तो दोस्तों 
ये जो सोच है इनकी ये कहां से आती है क्योंकि ये मंडी से कभी जुड़े ही नहीं ये हिमाचल प्रदेश की वास्तविकता को जानते ही नहीं तभी इनको लगता है ये कौन सी वाली मंडी है जहां पे लड़कियां को क्या काम होता है इनको कुछ पता ही नहीं है कि ये वास्तविक वास्तविकता में कौन सी मंडी है मैं इसके बारे में कुछ नहीं कहूंगी मैं ये चाहती हूं कि आप लोग जिस दिन वोट दे रहे हो आप लोग जवाब देंगे मंडी के लोग जवाब देंगे कि ये कौन सी मंडी है इनको कहीं ना इनको कहीं ना कहीं ये भ्रम हो गया है कि मंडी के जो लोग हैं या हिमाचल के जो लोग हैं बहुत सीधे साधे भोले लोग हैं जब भी आते हैं एक दो जुमले देके चले जाते हैं पंद्रह सौ रुपए देंगे दो हजार किसको पैसे मिले जैसे दिलीप भाई किसको मिले पैसे आप देख लीजिए जिन लोगों की सोच ये है जो बेटियों के और बहनों के भाव लगाते हैं वो लोग आपके कभी नहीं हो सकते ये आप याद रखिएगा जो लोग राम के ना हो सके वो आपके और हमारे कभी नहीं हो सकते ये कभी मत भूलिएगा और दोस्तों जहां तक बात है सरका घाट की सरका घाट के प्रति मेरी क्या भावनाएं हैं वो मैं नेचुरली सी बात है अभी तो आप लोग मुझे मेरा मार्गदर्शन करेंगे आप लोग मुझे बताएंगे कैसे करना है कहां करना है किस तरह से हम लोग जो हैं जन जन साधारण के पास पहुंचे लेकिन विपक्ष ने अभी कूटनीति के द्वारा गलत भ्रमित लोगों को करना शुरू कर दिया है वो कहते हैं कि ये तो मुंबई की है यहां काम कैसे करेगी आप इसको मिलने क्या मुंबई जाएंगे तो भाई बहनों ये किसका घर है फिर अगर मैं मुंबई की हूं मनाली में किसका घर है घबोई में किसका घर है क्या मैं अभी आके मंडी से जुड़ी हूं क्या मैं हर महीने यहां पर नहीं होती हूं मेरे भाई का की शादी मेरी मेरी बहन है वसूल प्रभोरी बुआ मेरी तलवाड़े ते मुदवाई ते मेरा दूजा बुआ है और मेरे पूरे तले में बिलासपुरा तले में सजोटा मेरे मामे सर का घाट पूरे मेरे मामे ने भरी रहा है मनाली अपू मेरा घारा ए सारे थे बोरा रात खेली री कने चौका ते ताहे स्कूला जा थे है तो स्कूल नहीं था मेरा मामे नहीं है मेरे सर का घाट का मंडिया जाते थे शिवरात्रि मेले तो इतने कोई इंसान नहीं आ से जो मेरी फैमिली है जो नहीं जानता कि मैं जो नहीं जानता है इस तरह की गल् करी से तू जो भ्रमित करी रहा है भी भ्रमित लगते करने बीती हजू मिले तू हजो मुंबई जाने पाना मुंबई कहाँ जाने पाना मैं बाहर ब्याज कभी मैं हिमाचली टोपी तो मैं तद की भैन मेले तद की जो राजनीति तो थी मैंने तू है जे तू हारी जे बदली तुम्हारी जो नौकरी लगी जाओ जो तुम्हें नौकरी जो तुम्हें मंडिया रहे तुम्हें मेरे को नौकरी करो पहाड़ा च नौकरी करो उपर लिया एड नौकरी करो बद्दी जाओ चंडी तो तू हरे घर तू हरे घर नहीं रेंद आए एड भ्रमित लाए तू ही करने तू भ्रमित नहीं होना आया बिल्कुल भ्रमित नहीं होना आया आप लोगों ने और आप लोगों ने एकाग्रता से जो हमारे यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री का जो विजन है जिसका आज पूरी दुनिया लोहा मानती है हम उनकी सेना हैं, जैसे श्री राम की सेना हनुमान थे वैसे हम उनकी सेना है मोदी जी को जय श्री राम और एक मोर इलेक्शन अपडेट्स कमिंग इन दिस वन फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना वेयर senior brs leader kadiyam shriyari is all set to join the congress uh, he in fact has gone on record to say that congress has invited him to join the party and that uh, will take decision in a day or two so the brs mla dropping the big hint uh, that he is uh, going to be taking a big decision also adding that congress uh, did invite him uh, to join the party fold So as we speak, uh, these are the first visuals also coming in of senior BRS leader Kadiyam Shrihari holding a meet with Congress leaders in the state. Uh, listen in to that soundbite as well of the BRS MLA who says uh, that he is uh, mulling on joining the party and that final decision will be taken in the next few days.
for various reasons party is losing ground for various reasons people are moving away from brs so to serve the people and to do something for the constituency in a day or two i will take a decision after consulting my followers and after consulting uh, my well wishers and my workers and uh, let's go cross to aniri also who's joining us live from hyderabad uh, aniri it's the brs uh, leader himself who's uh, stating that he will be taking that final call uh, but tell us does this leave the window open uh, on uh, the brs uh, on uh, brs probably to cajole him to remain in the party fold Well, uh, Samiksha, definitely a big jolt to BRS because, uh, well, this is not the first leader who seems to be joining the Congress because earlier also we had seen the BRS MLA Danam Nagender, BRS MP Ranjit Reddy joining the Congress and amid all of this and ahead of the Lok Sabha polls, now we are seeing that the BRS MLA uh, Kadiyam Shri Hari along with his daughter who was given ticket from a Varangal a Lok Sabha constituency from BRS seat but she decides to drop that seat and now uh, both Both father and daughter are planning to join the Congress, is what we are being told, and that is the reason why we had seen Congress leaders also meeting Kadiyam Shrihari and his daughter uh, Kadiyam Kavya at their residence. And now Kadiyam Shrihari has come out on record and stated that uh, the Congress leaders have come over to invite him to join the Congress to strengthen the party. And also at the same time, he further went on to state that they will be taking a decision very soon after uh, uh, talking to. to the followers and well wishers within a day or two they will be taking a decision also samiksha very important to note at this point in time is that amid kadiyam shri hari uh, likely to join the congress we are also seeing that brs mp uh, or rajya sabha mp uh, keshav rao along with his daughter are also likely to join the congress party because this morning itself K- uh, keshav rao had met telangana chief minister revan reddy at his residence so definitely a lot of jo- uh, shift of uh, top leaders from the brs to congress we'll have to wait and watch how it turns out to be for the brs because um, the brs uh, the chief ksr had himself announced that kadiyam shriari's daughter will be contesting from uh, varangal constituency but she decides to drop that and now uh, we'll have to wait and watch when these leaders join the congress watch when these leaders join the congress Right. Stay with us, Aniri. For the viewers also who are tuning in, are you telling us that there are more defections uh, expected in the coming uh, few days? Uh, take us to the names of all these uh, party leaders who are likely to jump ship. Well, Samiksha, a lot of leaders because earlier we had seen Danam Nagender uh, and Ranjit Reddy, the sitting BRS MP, uh, 